Shit. Huh, huh. I say that to say this. I say that to say this. I say that to say this. It's debatable. I'm going back and forth, nigga. They get my point across. I feel like I say that to say this. Hello, you. Right here, I say that to say this. Should a man? I say that to say this. Whether it's current events, seven, Yo, 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 yo! We in the building. I say that to say this podcast episode ten. We have made it Woo! to episode ten. We okay. told y'all we was gonna keep going, and we and we keeping it going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all know the brand. Still rocking. I say that to I say this. Po- I mean, I say that to say this podcast <laughs> brought to you by M3S3 Apparel. Y'all shop www.m3s3apparel.com. Thank you for everybody who supported us this far. Episode ten to a lot of people ain't crazy, but for us it's big because it's something we set Real out to big. do, and we being consistent. You know what I'm saying? Consistency is key. We are short. Two podcast members. <laughs> they gonna stumble in here you know eventually. They niggas. As we go. And they lay. And the My crazy point. thing is, is Fred tells us 30 minutes ahead of the time. Like, okay, like serious? if it's if we're scheduled for four, he'll be like be here at 3 30. How how early did I tell it's you to show today? 4 30. Hmm? How many hours early were you today? How I many you to hours be here early? At, I told him to be at 2 30. You were here hours early? I mean an hour. Uh-huh. So I said 2 30. You said 2 30 for him? You told but us. he was here on time, though. But So then it doesn't count. But people don't. It do <laughs> count. He <laughs> here. You said he was here hours early as if he showed up hours earlier than the time you gave him. But so you he told get, him he, he still He, he still gets credit for being on time. But my, my logic <laughs> is adding on to what you were saying is I tell people early so they could be on time. Right. So well, he, my thing is, is that if I beat everybody here, why am I getting the earliest time? And then you come, and then you come look, an hour away, two hours away. Two hours, two yeah, hours. Yeah, so I, 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 I had to do that for you, <laughs> just want, in case. I didn't want you trying to slide out the house and try and make it just in time with the GP. Yeah, like I can make it. But he's not. Do. He's not really a late person. No, nah, he's not. I don't he's worry not, about he's not, he's not. common I, Mike phrase Mike, very much. Yo, Mike might usually not a late person too. I'm surprised <laughs> with Mike. Mike, Sa- Saeed, Bricky, them some late niggas. They, they even got, but actually, late. no, they do have kids. I was going to say, they don't even have an excuse. Yeah, they just be late. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's start it off. Y'all know, you know, y'all know how we do it. I'm not, not above, above you. you. I'm, I'm not, not below, below you. you. I'm, I'm right, right here, here with, with you. you. Yes, sir. So, y- how y'all been, man? Y'all see you all up. I got the ugly sweater on. She got the PJs Red. on. You know mm, what I'm saying? Mm, mm. He got the the, the, the <laughs> Santa had the um Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a holiday edition. edition. Yeah, it's, ho- it's December, so even the next podcast we, we're gonna be in our holiday spirit. I might take yeah. this off because it's like 250 He's degrees up in here. Right here. Extra. I'm dying. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> What's that suit people wear to the gym? Like the plastic bag? It's like helps them sweat. Yeah, it's the like sauna one suit. The sauna suit, bro. This is I'm dying. <laughs> So a little trash bag one. We're going to do this. I'm going <laughs> to clip it up. And it's going to be the you know the picture for the podcast, but then I'm about to take this shit off. It's done. So, ladies first, how's your week been? My week was a little hectic. My mm-hmm. daughter had this science fair project. I'm not going to lie. I'm teaching bad habits because we had like a month to do it, and we did the whole thing this week. So that was very stressful. But other than that, I'm work. Mm. And making moves as usual. Same mm. old, same old stuff. I'll be guilty of that, too. <laughs> like they... My kids are telling me I got something to do, and I know it, and then they remind me the You're night like, before. Oh, damn. And I'm up stressing like it's my <laughs> shit. <laughs> Every day at work this week, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, I got to do stuff online. Like, I got to look. I felt like it was my project because essentially it's like when they send stuff home, you feel like if they fail, you failed because right. you're supposed to help. So right. Right. it becomes your project at the end right. of the day. You know, I think moms and dads, is, you know, not all of them. I don't want because y'all, be the, y'all be in the coming at us in the comments. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We appreciate the constructive criticism, Luke. But they they be coming for our head. Man. But with moms and dads, like it's like the pops are, the pops would think like that too. Like if they fail, we fail too. But we also be like, yo, man, they ain't gonna be too hard on you, man. Just, just, just circle. Just put the, 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 the. These but the moms be savage. like, hold on, mm, mm, forty five degree. Mm, mm. Everything's Don't go outside gotta the be lines. perfect. It's gotta yeah. be perfect. Pops be like, man, you got look. They ain't gonna be too hard on you. Just, uh, let me do it. I'll do it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, but, like, for me, I like doing stuff in general because I'm really creative. And my daughter is just more so, like, mm-hmm. how do I do? I feel like she asks me questions because she know I'm going to just do it sometimes. Mm-hmm. And that's that's She's not smart. good. She's smart. That's not good. But I'm not going to lie. So her teacher, showed, her project was due Friday. Mm-hmm. Her teacher Friday night emailed me 
And I had to go off on her because she's like... You went off on the teacher. I went off on the... I mean, respectfully, you guys know how to do a professional go off in e- via email, right? <laughs> <laughs> per this, per, you know what I mean? <laughs> as I stated in my last email. Right, right. So basically, it was like a professional <laughs> cuss out. But basically, she was like, yeah, your, your child didn't turn in her project. And I'm like, um, respectfully, no, I respectfully. walked the sh- in my, there myself this morning. So please locate it and let me know once you found it. Oh, and yeah. get back to me. That ain't even tough. I so thought this, she went this, hard. I mean, I didn't tell you everything I said, but okay. the point is, she wrote me back this morning and apologized and said she located okay. the project. So Mommy points. We gonna, Mommy points. We're going to see what we, what we got because this is like us grade. Mm-hmm. It's not a... Yeah, not a her grade. Yeah, you, we so got. you'll be mad too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to the school. <laughs> Your old ass in there to my... I got a question. <laughs> Who's that girl? Going- is that your mom in the back of the pr- Who's that grown ass person? Who's that grown ass person? the hell out of her. She'd be so mad. She'd be walking around all the time like, period. And then I started saying it. She'd be looking at me like, no. You can't do it. No. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say You're it. You're not cold. I'm yeah. not tip. Phrase, phrase. How's your week been, man? Uh, it's been all right. All the way out here from? <laughs> Little Palm bit everywhere. Look, listen. <laughs> Can I tell you where I'm from? It it don't even matter. Right. By the space station where where the, where the rockets go. Let's just let's just say that much. Uh, but my man drove two hours. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To, to all Respect. the way out here to Miami. It's really not. Let me not say that. Mm-hmm. Because it's when you say that, to be two hours. no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Be flying? When I say it's really not nothing, because I don't mind driving. You can't say that out loud. Because people be. It's a lot. To women. People. It's not even people. It's women. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna say. It. Women. I'm gonna say it right off. I'm right. lost. Where we going? Because. When you start saying, oh, yeah, it's not that far. It's not bad. Yeah. They expect it all the time. Oh. oh I was going somewhere else with that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you got to make people clear. You gotta, you, it's important to voice when you don't understand it. I thought <laughs> we were just talking about, like, if it's a lot to drive in general. I'm like, nah, I'm not nah, driving. Because, it's whatever. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you go out of town, you, you travel, ask, something bro. like that. Where I'm from, you, you got to ask. You know somebody, somebody say something like, we got to do what we got to do. You talking to somebody. Gotta do what you in a drive by the back. you like, whoa, 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 whoa. In the middle of a robbery somewhere, like, what you mean? I thought I don't think I understood the assignment. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, we just gotta do what we gotta do. Go ahead and get in. All right, shit. Everybody no. gotta do. Whoa, whoa, what we doing? What's this? I thought we were just <laughs> getting changed. <laughs> I just been full of lead now. What happened? But nah, it was good. Um, really, just trying to finish finish the year out. Um, Strong. Figure out what I'm gonna do. Uh-huh. You know, it's last month. If I want to go and do, take one more trip somewhere that that I haven't been before. Uh-huh. Close the year out right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm still thinking about if I want to do the Tennessee trip uh, for New Year's. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do like a little cabin joint. But there's something, there's a bungalow thing that I found like north of Atlanta. So a bungalow is like a little, like almost like community type mm-hmm. setup. Mm-hmm. But they have like the, have like igloo shaped houses. Mm-hmm. Dope. So you can do like two of those and it's got like a jacuzzi thing. So I was In like, Atlanta? Oh, it's like an hour north of Atlanta. Mm. Right. That's what I said. <laughs> and then, <laughs> And then I started looking at the prices on Airbnb, and I was like, oh. It's, it's, it's cool? It's and affordable? Yes. Like not- uh, yes. Wow. Okay. I mean, I you, you, you have to one, shoot the link. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, nah. Because, I mean, like, it's one. I mean, for, <coughs> for what it was looking like, it was you fit, like, six people. But, I mean, that that goes without you saying. you make it a group thing? or like- <laughs> No, because when you when it says six people, it's because it's two king-size beds. You feel me? Uh, Frazier, like, you ain't invited. Don't <laughs> try that. But, but you know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> Because nah, it's like you sit there, you like it says you read you read the, the stuff. It says like it's six people, and you be like, damn, six people. All right, good. And then you're not realizing the fact two king size beds can sleep six people. I'm you ain't trying to, you ain't trying to, <laughs> two people to a bed unless it's a twin size. First and pool. foremost, where'd you grow That's up? Max Cali. All right, as a kid, when you was going to your cousin's house or so and so's house, how many kids would be up in the same bed, sleep shoulder oh, to shoulder? Man. Honestly, that only happened at my grandmother's house down south. But, I mean, at my house, I mean, I had hella siblings, but we did have our own beds. Like, oh, well, then you It was, was a bunch was... of twin size beds. We had bunk beds and some more shit. But, but y'all had your own. But we had our own beds. Must be nice. All right. You, you I guess grew we up, was living luxury. You grew up having to share a bed or what? Oh, psh, bunk beds. If you was visiting cousins, you was like, yo. Three in the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you have like two, two, three cousins in the box. Or Wait, you, you need... waking up the feet in your face? Or you'd just be like, F it. I'm just going to take the pillow and go on the floor. Yeah, I'm just take the yeah floor. not the best. Like, we would go to the living room with a bunch of, like, sleeping bags and blankets, build a fucking fort or something, you know. Uh, but fuck your fort, it. nigga. Outside of that, What, what movie really... is that? <laughs> fuck your I'm fort, dead. nigga. You know what that is? I don't know either. It's Baby Boy. 
Oh, Snoop Dogg came in. Like, oh, yeah, the little kid. <laughs> Tyrese boy. Damn, I'm disappointed in you. Okay. I would have thought you would have knew that. Yeah, no, not that one. Whack. <laughs> so me, right? <laughs> baby boy. I don't, I don't How put, was your week? You don't put baby boy in like top 20 at least? Cool classics. 20? Yeah. I gave you 20 so you couldn't escape. <laughs> you got to give it 20. If I'd have said five, you'd be like, no. Baby boy was all right. Yeah, baby, it was fine. Definitely a classic. Movie. I feel like there's not enough classics to really take it out of 20, so that's why you said 20. Because mm-hmm. I could easily take it out of top five. Yeah, you can't move. I could easily top a top 10, too. Exactly. Did I hear a knock? Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. They, they got this shit had a code. Did, know, you did you hear a knock? Did you hear a knock? So, um, me, my week, pretty good week, pretty productive. Y'all know, um, late nights, early mornings. You just over here doing construction. <laughs> Gracious. Um, See, yeah, he's knocking. So, check this out, right? Hello. We got to go uh, to Wynwood. You know, we donated to uh, the homeless Hello. out there. We took a bunch of clothes, a bunch of Hello. a bunch of sneakers, a bunch of hats, and we just hit the hit Miami, Fort Lauderdale, any area that we saw that um had homeless outside. And shout out to my boy Four Hundred. We just hit okay. the streets and we just was handing out merch, handing out um, the sneakers and all that. Yeah, handing out sneakers and all that. Um, and you know we gave like I was telling we went back and gave to the homeless. That was in Fort Lauderdale, right? I'm sorry if we, you we, said that already. Fort Lauderdale, uh, Wynwood, and Miami. Dope, uh-huh. dope. I wanted to slide, but I had my daughter, and we were doing shit all you, day. You could have brought her. Let me know next time. You could have brought her. She be wanting to be involved and all that. Hey, y'all come hey. here, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Christmas. Y'all come here and try to dab up. Yeah, yeah. He on fly. Man, so he that kid, he the kid, he the kid come to, to the class late, fly. All, all, all the time, all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's all the time, baby. It don't matter. You got that one in this one. Yeah. So you know we get, we were able to uh, you know get back to the homeless. We went out there and uh, we made a lot of people's day, man. It it, it was a, a really humbling feeling. You know, a lot of them guys were so appreciative and. You know, they, they didn't, you know, it's the holidays. They're away from their family as it is for whatever reason. Right. And then you got us pulling up, giving back to them. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like a, a, a breath of fresh air for them. So, you know, um, I think that was like a super humbling, super. Um, it took me back a little bit because we go through everyday life, waking up, watching, right. do, doing whatever we doing, not appreciating really uh-huh. and just taking it for granted. All, all that we have access to on a day to day basis, things that don't even cost us. Was it pretty too crazy much money. out there? Like, was it wild? Like, like there was a lot of homeless people. Was it, it like a certain spot that it was like? More it was a lot of it was it, was it was a lot of them out there. You know, Is there a especially Skid Row in, out here. You know what I mean? Like, no, I, I, I asked Four Hundred that, and um, he was like, "No, nah, they ain't really got nothing like that out here." What? Like a, a Skid spot Row? with like just ho- a lot of homeless. You know what Skid Row is? Downtown Miami. So, thank you. Downtown Miami. Downtown Miami, heavy. 79th Street, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, but downtown, like, Overtown area, mm-hmm. that's 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 a real rough area. I think the, the most we saw out of all the areas we went to is when we, we ended it at, in Wynwood. Yeah, yeah. And they was out Wynwood, there. Wynwood, Wynwood is, it's more like prestigious. Like, people go out there to see the atmosphere and stuff like that. You'll see some of that, but mm-hmm. of course, South Beach, downtown area, all that, that's, that's basically like our skid row. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So when somebody say, "Hey, yo, meet me downtown overtime," you gotta, you gotta, go, you gotta say for what? Guy? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> you gotta be extra what you, precise. Yeah, with you gotta your be plans, precise. Like, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Tell me what you mean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that was uh that was the highlight of, of, of my week. Um, so, you know, I feel good about that, and, we, and we're gonna try and do something else before the year is out. Mm-hmm. Visit. Uh, we're supposed to be visiting a middle school with uh, mm. chaos, mm-hmm. um, ball greasy. Um, My people. And, and, um, I, I feel bad. So I don't know. I forget his name. But <laughs> next, next is next week. So oh, next, next okay. Thursday. Um, we're What's cool? To be pulling up. I forgot the name. I'll get you the information if you want to pull up. Yeah, yeah. I, of course, I want to pull up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I need to know the school. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got rivalries now. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I be forgetting. You like, can't just pull up anywhere. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> we not. Well, you not either though. We definitely not from nah. here. Uh, so we yeah. just pull up anywhere. Yeah. We don't know yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't know nothing. We don't right. get out. He like, what school? I said, I, I, I'll get you the information. Yeah, He's like, no, 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 no. I'll pull up to a school. I need to know right now. Because I don't fuck with you. Right I seen you. You ain't pull up to his school. Mm-hmm. We got y'all. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, we'll shoot y'all. You know, y'all slid right in. Right. Pause. Um, yeah, pause. Major pause. <laughs> Major pause. So That's how was your guys' week? right in, yeah. Huh? How was your week? My week was great. You know, uh... 
of course, very productive uh, nice. doing what I do and stuff like that. We just came off an event uh, in Tampa, Florida, two day event. Phenomenal. How'd that go? Anybody stand out to you? Yeah, a couple of people stand out. I'm always screaming the podcast too. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so salute to everybody that's watching. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Florida movement. But uh, yeah, a couple of people uh, I want you to. Uh, take an eye and look at YouTube, Coco. Oh yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying. It's always trying to shine a light on the talent out there. But that's that's basically what I was doing. Okay, always being productive with what I'm doing, and then uh, being on social media, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> double tapping Coco pictures. <laughs> <'Cause, you know. laughs> Yo, Coco is is now 80. Oh, Hold man. on, let me check. She, yeah. oh, I ain't got time to check. Yeah, she like, she she, she 80K, famous. She 80k Coco she 80K right now. Coco. 80k Coco. You know what I'm saying? Big Coco. You got, yeah. you got to put some respect on that. Big Coco. Big Coco. Yeah, that promise is coming for you. <laughs> Big C. Man, they've been on my head. Facts. Tell them you got brothers. We all can fight, yeah, goddamn it. Go. Leave what her be. Get them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big C. How was your week? How was your week? It was good. It was a nice bounce back from Thanksgiving, so it was a nice uh, relaxation. I had like four days off. Nice. You ain't, you ain't eat four yeah. days of Thanksgiving food, did you? Nah, nah, hell yeah. yeah. How long, how, well, how, he said, nah, 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 hell yeah. yeah. How, long, how long? Hold on, hold on. How long is Thanksgiving food? Supposed when you when are you supposed to throw it away? I ain't gonna lie. After the week is over. Yo, I so had seven days. Nah, ain't what? no way. I mean, I'm probably no, not listen, eating all on the seventh day, but like I seven. definitely. What if yeah, you I get mean, different plates from yeah, different facts, people? Yeah, like I went to four different houses. Look, My thing is, too. After, but you get them all on the same day. After the, thing, the so first still just sitting, old, uh -huh. right? it, after oh, the nah, first sitting, nah. how long does leftovers last? How many days? Four. I say I say the same. Four. 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 Four to five. But. That doesn't include the day I'm after. I'm saying I don't throw it away don't, until the week is over. They cook the food the nah, same nah, day. Nah, nah, no, not, not, not everybody. The day no, after. We, that's, we start that's the day That's before. another reason why I got my excuse. Because <laughs> my people don't cook until the day of. You know what I'm saying? My mother, my auntie, they be in competition. So you don't eat till late at night? So yeah, I don't eat till late at night. Because we start the day before, we eat them by noon. So still, like, until so Monday. Monday's your last day. Monday should be going out in the dumpster. listen. Nah. Man, you got to have every version of Thanksgiving food. I want the turkey taco. You know, the little yeah. stuffing at the bottom. <laughs> Just That's mac and cheese. Thing. I never had tacos. Mac and tacos. cheese and baked beans. Yeah. You gotta have all type of versions. Don't worry about it. Food don't touch. They all cook. Did you yeah, say you never cook. had any of that? Not for tacos on Thanksgiving, no. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, they be, they no, be doing different. He's saying that's what you create oh, out no, of your you know, Thanksgiving yeah, like meal. You just, just, just make extra uh, meals who after did the fact. The baby, the baby. The baby just made, uh, he thought he made he made us something, but we already got world famous down here, baby. You tried it. You tried it. You tried it. You tried it. But that's it though, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and nah, I was that was it. Just bounce back. Like you said, productivity yeah. after that. It was a little slow this weekend, um, in the training. Everyone, you know, clients and everything was bouncing back mm -hmm. from it. Everyone was traveling or not. So it was kinda wait, 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 wait till the ball drops. Training Box. pick up for you like January, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, of course. That's a slow season. Everybody <laughs> everybody in everybody trying to get their new shit back year, together. New <laughs> <laughs> it was a slow season. So I was just vibing this weekend. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> Yo, I wanted to ask y'all, because I seen this um Somewhere on one of the podcasts I watched, has, has there ever been a uh, not, not a celebrity but an artist who died that made you cry? Oh, Aaliyah. <laughs> Still to this day. Who? Uh, she said one. Who'd uh, you say? Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Aaliyah you but me Aaliyah? personally, I still. Still, bro, I get emotional like I knew this dude, bro. Like DMX, bro. Like mm -hmm. I okay. love DMX, bro, man. Him and Tupac, because I know exactly where I was when they announced that Tupac passed. Mm -hmm. They made we we was playing a football game. They made the whole place just stop, get on one knee, bow your heads, and pray because we didn't know he was dead just yet. Mm. So we listening to the radio. They, I'm talking about they stopped the whole game. This is a playoff game, by the way. Mm. Oh, and when they announced that he passed, man, we went out there and beat these people ass so bad. <laughs> Hail Mary. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, That's man, great. Tupac so, and so, Dia, Tupac, Pop, DMX, and Aaliyah, man. Aaliyah for you? Aaliyah, Aaliyah was very it sweet. It doesn't have man. to be like a singing artist. Can I mean, it just who, be a celebrity? Because I was really emotional yeah. about Bernie Mac. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Ooh, man. Okay. That caught everybody off guard. Man, I was sad. It was like, that felt like like my uncle died. Yeah. Like, uh, he's like everybody's uh, uncle for real. Thanks. I would say... With Bernie, but uh, Chadwick for me, honestly. Oh man! Oh, that's thank another you. one. Because of, it was because of the age. Yes, the and age. he just came like, off of these great crazy. projects. He passed at forty three. Like right. perspective, yeah. I'm thirty nine, so yeah. I mean, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like that just goes with always the message of checking yeah. early mm -hmm. to help. You know what I'm saying? Fight that sort of thing. But right. it was just like, yo, he the the catalog of movies from 
the moment he got it to the moment he passed. He passed. Facts. Like, he was going through all that and made those movies. Facts. So Facts. It was, it was Facts. Just, you crying now? No. Oh. <laughs> so you got none, but that did hit me. That one, out of all of them, I'll never cry for celebrity, I didn't for, it? I cannot None of them, like, affect me like that. Like, it's been like, oh, damn. That's the only one that I could, I that forgot one, one that one, came though. out. Like, when you see Because I was like, bloods, damn. Like, I, f- I, forgot, so I forgot the king. Yeah, like, because after that, like, Michael, there was, I, I think, cried a, for Michael a Jackson. speech that he did when he was sick yeah. that no one realized he was sick. And it, it still, like, that was replays that was to, this, like, to this day and everything, him talking about Denzel. Because you find, out, Denzel, you find you out, know, out he was acting and while he was sick this, the yeah. whole time. And then, like, you see how, like, lean he was. Like, Black Panther made every black person, black community went wow. crazy, shut went it down. Crazy, bro. And then all of a sudden, like, he passed. You're like, oh, damn. He did, he did so, know. like, his... The work that came out after his passion just made you appreciate yeah, it more. Five Bloods, Five Bloods Ma, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. That is like top tier acting. Right, like man. this man, like he, I, I don't know. He knew he was going. So let me leave an everlasting yeah. legacy. Let me go hard, man. Listen, mm-hmm. man. How crazy that is! I ain't even that's, think about that's that. That's crazy. He, he bro. already knew that he was about to pass. Yeah, and it he, still every was doing that. Movie was just like, oh no, I gotta go extra yeah. hard. Mm-hmm. Damn, man, that shit. Is yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like when you see it in like Five Bloods, like yeah. his body, like. And I, I mean, seen that, that, that was the moment when it clicked. Me either. I was like, Me either. Wow. Yeah, check Oh, yeah, Five Bloods, for phenomenal. Him, um, they got a whole bunch. It's a whole bunch of cast members of Delroy Lindau. Uh, that's the daddy Isaiah, from Crooklyn. Isaiah, okay. Okay. Isaiah Whitaker. You know yeah. Isaiah Whit- Whitlock or Whitler, the one to be like, she. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, off the wire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my dude. Of, what about you, Fred? Oh, that hit me, um, but I didn't, I didn't cry. And... Uh, Y'all probably don't, but Stack Bundles. I fuck okay. with Stack. Stack yeah. Bundles hit me hard when Stack Bundles I died. Because I was like really getting into who he was as a person and all that kind of shit. So when he passed away, I was like, damn. It, I didn't cry, but it, I remember it hit me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Pac hit me too. Oh, yeah. Because everybody where I, where I was at, it mm-hmm. just was like a, like you said, they stopped yeah. the football game. Like every <laughs> yeah. everywhere you went. In my small city, everybody was like, "Damn!" Eh, eh, so they hit me. None of them like I never like teared up. Nipsey. Though. That was one of the Nip, artists. Nip, Nip. I, fe- I that's, felt. And that's you know, I felt. I felt Nip so bad Nip. because I was one of the ones that was like advocating the shit out of this man. Yeah, that's how you like, move. You, you move like Nip. Like, appreciate it, bro. Like I literally loved Nipsey and, I, and his music. Like was my motivation. I was going through depression and shit mm. at the time. So. Like, like his arrangements of things and what he talk about is something that I, I advocate all the time. So I'm heavy into it. I'm actually buying the goddamn shit. Hey, I buy it for you. Go listen to it. And then he get killed. I was mm. mad as shit. I yeah, was. I ain't cry mm-hmm. out of sadness, but I was. I was mad. It's you know, how you hot and you steaming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to mm-hmm. do something, but you can't, man. Mm-hmm. But Nipsey, yeah. So, so, him. so, so you've been through depression before. Oh yeah, man! I overcame depression, man. Like, uh, can you talk about it? Or is that something you don't want to talk about? Oh nah, I'm always open. To, I think I think males need to open up more because a lot of males uh, don't have. They feel like they don't have a safe space to open up exactly. and talk Agreed. about uh, depression because a lot weighs on the male mind. You know, mm-hmm. uh, you you are put here on this earth. They say to be uh, strong-minded, strong-willed, the caretaker, everything is on your shoulders uh-huh. and that you don't have time to cry. That's what actually breaks you because a lot of things uh, that build you up as the man you are can also break you or make you. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I did overcome depression before, and I'm talking about a, a bad depression, man. I was going what through happened? a lot. What happened? Uh, you know, um, reality hit in like I lost my job. Mm. Uh, the young lady who I was talking to at the time, she left me. Mm. You feel me? Uh, All in the same. And everything was just crumbling wow, down. I didn't. I didn't. Know, I didn't have no five year plan. Mm-hmm. No father figure to tell me nothing. You got the streets, but the streets ain't your father. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, so you grew up I, without your pops. My pops was in and out of incarcerated. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Uh, real street dude, mm-hmm. always into the streets or some BS. You feel me? My mm-hmm. stepfather as well. Mm-hmm. And it seemed like my mother always attracted to those men. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Uncles were street dudes as well. All I, all they know is the streets. All we know is, you feel what I'm saying, the mm-hmm. grit, the grind, and the hustle. Mm-hmm. So I ain't had nobody to talk to or open up to because my friends looked up to me. Mm-hmm. The, the popular guy, the guy that's at school making you laugh. Mm-hmm. So those days when I go in the room and stuff like that, and I need someone to console me or talk to me or guide me through this, I ain't have it. But if I did brought it to him, 
you being a bitch. Right. That's the problem. Man a lot up. Of, yeah, a lot of, a lot of our father figures yeah. or homies, they, they demasculate us by saying, you being a bitch, man, man up. Right. Well, yeah. man, like, uh, nobody taught me how to man up. I got I, I to gotta, I gotta learn this on my own path and way and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, a lot of, and then having a family uh, that just beats you down and, like, they rely on you. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, you the, you the caretaker, you the guy, you you this. And a lot of that stuff was weighing on me. And, man, I couldn't take it. I broke, man. You feel what I'm saying? And it was a... Uh, I mean, you stack enough on top of a person, eventually you facts. can crumble. You heard the story of the, the puzzle man? Nah, I know. I so, the puzzle man, uh, there's no words. You just see a guy made of puzzles. Mm. And he's walking along a path. And he, he walks up to this homeless guy. Mm-hmm. And the homeless, you know, he's asking for something. He takes a puzzle off his body. He gives it to him. Right. He's walking along his journey. Uh, a, a friend comes up to him, venting, da 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 mm-hmm. He gives him a puzzle. He goes along. Um, he goes to his job. Mm-hmm. He gets him two puzzles. Mm-hmm. He leaves his job. On his way home from his job, he stops by his house. His mom, dad, da 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 He gives him some puzzles. Mm-hmm. He walks in the house. He gives, like, almost all his puzzles. To then, he, then he go to, to his, then he go to his kids room mm. and he give his daughter like a, his last puzzle mm. and then he go outside the house he don't have no more puzzles on that's crazy right so I think that is a little bit of what a person who gets relied on a lot like the man the strong guy to mm. do you know how they say check on your strong friends right. like that person right there all day is giving 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 mm. giving and not letting anything out to anybody else so yeah. That, you're not getting back. To, you're not getting back the same. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. And then, some people do have it worse than others. Mm-hmm. But we, we, I'm speaking on an individual thing. You know, mm-hmm. like my uncle, uh, he was everything, and I see why he was so strong with it. But I seen him break down too, and I thought I was like, the world's finna end. Like this dude is macho man. He's he's strong. He's the guy out there with all the girls, the cars, the money, <laughs> and he was just breaking down and venting to me, and um, before he passed. And it's like when he passed, that came on to me. Uh You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of stuff. Like, I just say, like, just give men a safe space to speak and talk and be themselves and let it out and don't demasculate them and say, man, you being a bitch. Uh You being a pussy. You can't do this. You feel what I'm saying? Uh Like, we want to talk about our problems, too. Right. You feel me? What's the the best way for a woman to to approach a man who needs that Uh, to you? Or to, to any of the men here, what's the best way for a woman to approach you to make you feel safe to vent or let go or not be strong? Like, that's a good question. Just, what do you look for? That's a very tough question. I feel like, like the, the, I feel like the women. <laughs> I still thinking about that one. Yeah, not that. Bitches don't In my, in my, in my, in my opinion, the, the women these days, uh, <laughs> They don't want to hear that shit. Exactly. And, and, and this is they from just what I'm. You. This is just what I'm. Yeah, they use it against you. Because we see the tools that they use it against you with on social media a lot. We a lot of stuff get get put out there that shouldn't get put out there. Your business and stuff like that. Oh, girl, this, he right. was crying over me. Well, tell why he was crying over. Me. Tell why he was sorrow. Tell you know you don't know if he has mother issues, daddy issues, work related issues, or anything. So some nice. of the females, a lot of the females too. You gotta understand they dealing with stuff too. Yeah, they don't know how to trauma bond. Trauma. And that's what that is. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to trauma bond with you. I'm letting you know that I don't want to be my trauma and I'm relying on you, the person that I'm with so or dealing with. It. You get what I'm saying? Can we work through this? And no, sometimes they get weaponized. Weaponized. Yeah. So so y'all y'all don't really have a, a way. F- no, nah, I mean, I was going <laughs> to speak, but. Uh, mm. Go ahead. So what, and I guess it goes back to what I, I mean, something to what I say to people, especially when it comes to that sort of thing. Damn, you yarning? It's boring. <laughs> it, got too, it got too deep. It got too deep. Started taking Hey, we out. got this. We got this Adam and Eve segment. Then we will say that's even. <laughs> right? Nah, but um, not for nothing. Uh, this goes deep into like dating aspects, and you are your own responsibility to make yourself happy, right? Right. So to have somebody else to have to depend on someone else to make you happy, you're setting yourself and the person up for failure. You feel me? Mm. They're an addendum to what you want in your life. Which is mm. a, like an addendum, you can get rid of it. Just like you let somebody go in a relationship. So like when it comes to like the safe space, dealing with depression, mm. like, I personally deal with it just post military stuff. Um mm. it's an understanding thing. Mm. You don't have to I feel like it's a common courtesy to where you should be as a decent person in this world to give somebody space to speak. Right. 
Um, but what's the approach? Like if a, if a, if a but, female is watching this but, right now, wanting to know how to talk to but, her man, what are you telling her? But what I'm saying is that like, as a woman's able to go open up to her friends about anything that's going on, because oh, it's 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 a woman. Don't treat it as a gender thing. Treat it as a person thing. You want a person. Uh-huh. You would be allowed them to be able to speak as if anybody else is being politely to you, and you want to actually understand what they're saying. That's what I'm saying. It's the courtesy thing. It's not even about the fact of me dating you. It being a child, it being your your grandma, your grandpa, your uncle, your uncle, because we put so much in that whole gender role thing. That's where we're messing up the whole. Psyche I, I agree with everything you, know you okay. said. I don't feel like you answered the question though. I did. <laughs> like if, 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 <laughs> what he's saying female, is though, what, what I'm saying is, well, I know what, he's saying, but like. How would you, how, how, how do they how, approach how, the situation? Give, give her the approach. The if I like, felt I like there was something heavy on your heart and I could tell, I'm good with energy, so if I could tell that there's something going on, how do I approach you to allow you to let the that The same way you me? guys want to so be approached. Verbatim. But basically. That's, but, but that's, that, what they that's, that's basically that's what, what it is. Talking. But that's my point, though, is that, like, there shouldn't be a particular way. Like, how do you approach your, mm. your home? Mm. Not, so, like, yeah, I, listen, but I see what you're saying. How do you approach your girlfriends when you got something on your mind? You feel me? Oh, when I have something on but my mind? But I see, like, I see what you're saying, but, like, so, like, what if, like, her girls aren't sensitive or she's not sensitive type of person, but then, for me, like, I'm a sensitive person. You can't approach, like, right. me the same way that you would mm-hmm. approach. You know what so, I'm saying? So, I see what you are saying. It just saying. can't be generalized like, can't as be, human. Yeah, like. You can be generalized as human mm-hmm. because here's, because my thing, because when you, I hear what you're saying, that goes with you. That's a you thing. You're not emotional. That's not their fault because they can't open up to you. Yeah. You feel so, me? They're so saying, like, you're coming like, from a real man person. space. Yeah, see, see, that's yeah, the thing. And, and, and that's I'm, what he, I'm, yeah, that's what I. That's, see, you're proving what I was saying. That, oh. That's like somebody if they look watching this, they will look at you as in they don't think you will be the them. the person that'll be like emotional. Oh. You no, know, that's the word that that tie into that. You're not the emotional type. You more so the steady stern type. Right. Me more so. I am the open emotional type because I was raised by majority women. Women, women. I'm mm-hmm. agreed. So my my emotions tend to be a little bit softer, opposed of somebody raised by a, a, a manly presence in their home, and everything is dominant. Like, hey, uh-huh. you know, what I'm saying, yeah, you gonna go through some tough shit, get over it. Uh-huh. More so with me, <laughs> I heard women open up and talk about certain stuff, right, uh, uh, and, and showed how you should approach them. For me, right. like I'm gonna tell y'all, right? for me, <laughs> my thing is this. If they, if you touch me, like if my girl mm. touches me, like grabs my hand or physically, your love then, language, and, and then bes- begins to ask me mm. what's going on, is everything right. good? Like don't don't make it confrontational. Don't don't there should be any space because mm. I don't I don't complain anyway. Mm. I don't want to tell you anyway because I got it. I'm gonna hold it down, whatever right. you know. But if you come to me, you put your hand on me, you grab me, or something, and then start to now it's like okay, see, then you, then I'll then I'll lay it down. Though? You got it. So, you can hold it down. Right. That's the problem with that's men. That's the problem. So we but always that's how, feel we that's got how it. I want to be approached. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to get out of y'all. Like, what's your way? How do you want the girl to approach you? Mine is so, to touch me first. Yeah. So my way uh, to bring that up, it would be like f- love language, right? Like my love language is physical touch, mm-hmm. right? So it'd be like, all right, like console me, like put, like you said, touch me, make sure I'm comforted, right. and then you know what I'm saying, like. Make sure, like, I'm in a safe space that I'm not stressed, like, I like I, out of a shower. Mm. Uh, let me give you a massage. Let me, you know, talk about Shit, your day. Right. Things like that. Like, That's just you put you in a comfortable so you don't, I don't got to think say. something as a man right. or about my day. All I'm thinking about is in this moment. And then you can go. All right, like, what's, going what's on? on your mind? Like, what's Whoa. what's going that's on? How, like, that's how it we ain't talked this, like, talk this week. So it's or, a setting thing. Yeah, 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 it, it, yeah perfect. That, set okay. set the tone. Set the setting. See that, and, and I do, I do that a lot when I go home. You know, I I try to like, hey, how was your day? My hey, how was your day? Is not just a just something to say. Like a good. Oh, it's good. Like, what was on yeah. your mind? What occurred? What happened? Right. Is there anything I need to be notified about? Because I am here to talk to you in this time. Because. I lost so many people to where I understand how important time is. Uh-huh. So we're going to talk about what occurred and happened throughout your day. Is there anything we want to discuss that we can overcome that obstacle now or something we need to work on uh, later on and adjust? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm very big on that. I've had um, to learn that. Yeah. We got, we got, I we used got to be deep the, early now. I used we, got to, deep, we got deep <laughs> early. I used to be the one that uh, if you would ask me about my day, I'm, I'm going to be like, it's good. Because I didn't know how to communicate. 
like and, that and well. I mean, I just used to I'll like, say that I'm gonna tell you it's good if I don't feel like you know how to communicate. So if yeah. if it's a female, if it's my homie. If you ask me, like, yo, so how things going? It depends on who you are. And if I know how you can receive information mm. and I know you're intellectual, I might, like, give you a yeah, little more. You a but little if I know you're like, oh, it's all good. How are you? You know, I'll throw it back, right facts. back at But, home. I mean, like, so you do th- but, okay, I guess it's just, a, to me, because that seems like it's undermining a person. Well, it depends on their intellect. Cause some you, people, but some people, can, some can people that think too, that, though. some people think that you giving too much information is undermining. I got I got people you know from back home in the streets or whatever. If yeah, you, you start if you talk too too much talking is yeah. like bro shut shut up bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know like, but, so you sometimes that goes back to what he said. You know uh, when I, I'm already dealing with something and you bringing more stuff upon me exactly. Yeah. But to your point, I get what you're saying. Mm. So for instance, like if I know that person is more intellectual or, or I have I've conversed with this person mm-hmm. and they say, man, what's up with you, man? Nah, man, everything good. Uh-huh. But if it's somebody like Frit, man, listen, bro, you had a rough week, man. There it goes. <laughs> Let me tell you, because I do, I do this at work, bro. Everybody come up to me at work. I, I'm talking about like we talk about the wildest things at work. Uh-huh. You feel what I'm saying? What's up, Mike? Man, let me tell you about this crazy motherfucker. You uh-huh. feel what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I, I, I make it a safe space when you come and engage mm-hmm. with me because that's a gift, though. It, yeah. yeah, God, God did that. bless me with that. Uh-huh. But again, I overcame depression. I uh-huh. seen what it really looked like to be crazy. Uh-huh. So a lot of people think they crazy till they go to that seventh floor in Parkway Hospital and you see what's really crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make you tighten up. Like, like nah. I'm all right. Yeah, Doc, I'm <laughs> straight. I'm go- I was going through a phase and stuff <laughs> like that. So let me ask y'all this, right? How y'all feel about Puffy? Oh, man, it hurt my heart. <laughs> call him Diddy. We don't call him It not. hurt my heart Diddy because is, I was Diddy. just believing the brother love shit. Sean mm. Combs. Mm. And, and, and Here's my thing, what I find very crazy. You notice they came after him when he started giving out those masters back to the his the publishing and stuff like that, or whatever mm-hmm. he was giving back to the mm-hmm. artists and mm-hmm. stuff. You think something was coming down the hill? It, it, of course. It's like, bro, why wait? You, this man's been in the industry for like you shook you shook us up too years. much. We know what you're doing. They basically showing him you can't pay for your sins. You did all that shit. You can't then, what? You can't pay for your sins. Your sins, okay. Because mm-hmm. they know what he did. Mm-hmm. But now you want to come back and rally up the people. You see that speech that he gave when he got that lifetime achievement? Black people, we can do this. We can do that. Mm-hmm. Your brother love. And then now you're, <clears> trying, you're trying to buy white networks to, to push out that to your black people. Every time. And you know what they did? Now all of a sudden Cassie comes out and she was smart. She didn't sue Puff Daddy. She sued the corporation. corporation. She sued the corporation. Yeah. And a lot of people employee. think that Puff yep. Daddy was the one who settled. No. no, it's out of your fucking hands. Right. She sued the corporation, so we're forced to settle. Yeah, they're telling him, like, nah. Some of the stuff, I, of settled. course, we, we all believe. But it did hurt my heart, though, man. How you feel? I don't know. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed. You disappointed? I don't, I don't know what's what anymore. <laughs> it, it's, it's very confusing. Like, I don't. I don't know what's true because I feel like there's a lot in the media that says one thing and then it's like you hear a bunch of other things said and then just to have a settlement for something doesn't always mean that that's what happened Agreed. either. Agreed. So it's like right. that that literally doesn't prove anything. Mm. How you feel? <laughs> Same way? Like you just don't know? Listen, nah, I know how I feel about it. <laughs> they said he Elaborate. dated. They, they said he dated his son's. Girl too. He did, but that that was public though. Yeah. That was I'm very public. public. public you feel knowledge. me? I think what it Who is that? wasn't that Lori. People are never gonna be yeah Lori. Yeah, that was that Lori. Was Lori. Yeah, people so, never so gonna he be clapped. He clapped Lori after his son clapped. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Listen, that's like a is year, that two, crazy? That's like two years ago. Uh yes. Is that crazy? Yes, or is that's not crazy. I'm gonna tell you why it's crazy. I don't. Yes. In that, in that's that, crazy. That's <laughs> why. What? <laughs> You could you could never if maybe when, you're, when, you're dar- me, when, you're, when your when your when your daughter get of age crazy right your daughter get of age your daughter get of age your daughter get of age and y'all and you know no. y'all running around and, and she mess with somebody that's around your age or was she young she is young yeah Lori you can never young. mess with somebody your daughter mess no. with. <laughs> this is like when you guys asked last time like could you um, date somebody that your friend dated like no. Yeah, he was. My happiness is paramount. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, don't care about none of that. My man dated. I, 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 who cares? I, I don't think Mine nobody now. gonna be so satisfied but. until something actually occurred to Puffy. And what's crazy is these Caucasians know how to get us black people out there with the pitchfork for our own people. Facts. Listen, that shit was what? weird. I hope y'all all know what a Caucasian what? is, by the way, because I recently spoke to somebody and nah. I was using the word Caucasian, and they were like. 
I didn't know like Asians felt that way. I was like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Caucasians from the Caucasus oh. Mountains. Who is that? Yeah. Ooh. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, how y'all feel about the T, the T I and King? Hold on, son? No, let me answer that question now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go ahead. Dan, you don't cut me off. So quick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me no, too. I was just saying it was forty minutes. Trying to get through this hour. <laughs> <laughs> right, that part. Yeah, my bad, dog. <laughs> no, I was just saying it was weird because my thing is that like if you knew about that whole situation back then, I personally felt that's weird. I think it's weird that anybody that's of the age of thirty that's talking to somebody close or just an adult is weird. Just like I felt like the whole with the Jay Z Beyonce thing is weird, but because that's grooming mentality. Uh. When when an adult man is in his thirties talking to somebody that's in their teens, close to twenties. Uh. Teens, yeah. yeah. I don't think word. there's anything that's wrong with someone in their thirties talking that's, to someone. That's gonna fly over their heads too. Yeah, Probably. like you, you sit there and talk to somebody that, that hasn't seen a lot of stuff in their in their life at a young age, and then have it available to them. And then at the same time, accountability on the parents or anybody that's becoming a star, messing with somebody older, that's just wild. You gotta too. understand, but see, they all it's in that industry. It's not just a parental but, thing, but, though. But, but that's why I said it's, it's yeah. weird because you see it on more than one occasion. The only thing it's I'm weird to us normal folks. Very common. Hollywood folks is like everybody. Yeah. Hollywood, like, Hollywood like, has a whole that's another. Like, that's like a telecommunications right. job. It's it's, but, it's common. But I was going to that whole thing you were talking about with uh, when he was talking about the award and that right. sort of thing. It was the same thing that happened with Bill Cosby. He right. was literally went to go buy a, a, a network, a major network, yeah. and then everybody in the world Needy, came out of nowhere. These folks alone got him out of there. So what about Ti and Ti and uh, King? Mm. Bro, I don't think that's that man's son, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that man look exactly. That's like the first time I've ever heard this he one. Look just like that his mama. Like tiny. He look like just tiny. Like but did you see the picture that they put okay, up so of Bimmy? You, you trying to say that's 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 mm -hmm. that's uh, and tiny I, and, son by somebody else? Yeah, but see, well, that, I'm only cool. saying that because they put up a picture of a guy and he looked identical <laughs> to the king. No disrespect to the king of the south. I love Ti. I met Ti many times. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect, but I'm just going off of the blogs what they put out there. You Basically, feel what I'm saying? saying? Get a DNA test. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> get a DNA that, test. That kid, is, he looks identical to Tiny, but I don't see not one feature of Ti. Yeah. Now, now, yeah. now, as a father, Except if your son, if your son embarrass you in public, how 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 you handling that? He handled it. He handled it. I know. I know. I saw. We we all saw what he did. How are you handling? I ain't gonna lie. I'm. I'm. Ti handled it the corporate way. I'm. I'm listen. I'm, I would have blacked with the, out. with the headlock. Listen. I would have chained. <laughs> he headlocked him. I would have came choke slammed him. But nice. don't play with me in public, <laughs> in front of these millionaires on live. On live. And on live. You you, you, you trying to him up. You, you trying to you embarrassing us already. Right. I don't got you out of plenty of situations. This is me you talking to, and you like I know you. You took it to another level. You surprised? I'm surprised you didn't get swung on. Mm -hmm. But see, Ti understands how to protect the bag. He's smart. He's smart. How about you? How, you, how yeah. you handling your son, your teenage son, who embarrassed you out in public? I'm handling the same way Ti did. Like you, he did everything. You put him in the headlock. Yeah, no, he did not in the headlock. But like, yo, <laughs> like I'm gonna check you in front of live. And one night, he's going to embarrass me in front of live. I'm going to grab a phone, and I'm going to embarrass you in front of, like, how you embarrassed? But he handled it very well uh -huh. in a sense of, like, I mean, he had a show, like. I don't think T.I. was going to put his hands on him like, either. What happened? I don't think T.I. was going to put his hands on him until he shoved his Oh, phone. agreed. Yeah, agreed. So that's, what, he came made, up, that's like, what made that one. I think, like, T.I. held it so as You a, can't do nothing with me. <laughs> facts, like, you can't do nothing <laughs> with me. <laughs> <laughs> like, Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> like, he did everything, like. Everything like properly, like how like a, a dad would, like yo, you ain't gonna check me, you relax. We in front of family, like yo, there was a joke, like you taking it way to another level, mm. and I'm about to perform. Like you in here with us, saying that oh you in the streets, but you in a goddamn corporate studio right, right. with us, no, like your daughter, yeah, like your, you out to eat, out. you out to eat, and your daughter embarrass you in public like that. How are you handling your daughter? Are you handling it right there? Or are you taking it out? Taking it out? I think. I would say something, but I would, as far as physical, outside of like smacking the shit out of her, like I would. Not outside of, that's what you would do? Yeah, because you, you know, people like to call CPS these days. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. gotta make sure I don't go to jail <laughs> first. <laughs> We've had enough of those encounters. Um, but yeah, I feel like <laughs> that's how I would handle it personally. But my daughter knows, like, there's looks that parents give, and, and when you I you just look at gave my daughter, Fred one when he asked you about your daughter, like yo, you did the people's <laughs> eyebrow, like her yeah. eyebrow raised way up. Uh. She know when she see that look, shut up. Yeah, because <laughs> if they don't happen now, the minute we step inside, see my see my note, like, 
mine know not to even play That's like that. Saying, like, like, I, like I, they, mil- they, they raise like real militant. Like when we out here in public, we act accordingly. You whoop your kids? Oh no! Nah, listen, the, the thing is, I don't. You don't have to because I feel like the whooping is also on par of the slave mentality. Mm. Like uh, I know they say, spare the rod, spoil the child. You know that's the religious household and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I believe in uh, a discipline in a way where this is why I'm going to discipline. Mm-hmm. This is why I'm going to take these activities, these toys, this television, this gaming system, and leave you in a secluded room. Exactly, right. because that's worse than the whooping. I feel you, but nah. Listen, right, I mean, right. I, I, I don't have a kid. I'm just thinking of how I would, how I was on my bad. Like you spanking uh, him, yeah. Like you know, like I don't know if I would. I want to go with that mentality of because um. I've seen it. Like a lot of the parents now do it, but like certain levels, like the way I was raised as a kid, like I got whoopings, but my parents used to take things from me, and it did not work. Like we're taking things, yeah. Xbox <laughs> took the <laughs> Xbox, <laughs> like, but it's, stuff, it's, like you know what I'm it's saying. A re- like, it's a reason. Took the Game it's Boy, a reason like, I got there. Got you. The reason I got there is because. Once upon a time, I did discipline my child, and she reminds me to this day about how I did it. Mm. And when you're a parent and you have kids and you discipline a certain type of way, it, de- it depends on the mindset of where you was at when you disciplined them. Uh. And it, it made me feel a certain type of way. She was like, Daddy, you know, I, I know I, because she didn't want to, I forgot what she did. But it, it really it really touched me a certain type of way. Like, man, I don't, that's, that's traumatizing them. Cause a lot of things we will remember the traumatizing ass whoopings that we got. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. agree. But what does it do for you? Because a lot of people got traumatized ass whoopings, and they still end up where they end up at. Mm-hmm. So you, you got whoopings coming up. You got whoopings coming yeah, up. Yeah, I got, I got, I got, you whoopings, got whoopings coming, coming up. Yeah. Did you get whoopings? A little bit of both. So like, I appreciated how my uncle, because my uncle's my father figure. You know, I I didn't grow up with my father, mm-hmm. and like I kind of got reconnected like in the high school, but that's not a whole other story. Um, so my uncle was my father figure. He was army. Mm. He was under the mentality of you gonna learn or you gonna get strong. Mm. So with his like discipline is we would be like in a squatted position and holding. Mm. Lord, I've been there before. See, I or, like that. Or we would sit there, stand up. We have like books at the end of Ooh, our hands. I've been there before. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like you, you gonna learn or you gonna get strong. And if you ain't learn, you get you strong. strong. And that's oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. That, that's the best way of discipline because it really strips you down. Mm-hmm. It makes you like, man, I ain't ever doing this. The like, ass would be you crying for two minutes. Right. Now you, you, you know what I'm saying? You cussing them out in your mind. You know how it goes when you slam yeah. that door. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when my uncle put me in a push-up position hold and it. told me to hold it, oh, my God. But I told myself I'd never, never be bad again. Uh-huh. Ever. Uh-huh. Ever. That's why, that's why when people join the military, they come back a little different. <laughs> you feel me? Like, a little more structured. <laughs> you, know, you know, have you ever been in a fight? Like, ever? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Have you been jumped? Yeah. What you happened? been jumped? In what happened? School. Oh, what? It was over yeah. a stupid boy. I didn't even like. We going to whoop their ass. Yeah, <laughs> you got yeah. jumped over. How many people was jumping? Four? Oh, it was oh. like her and all her cousins. It was God, like a swarm damn. of people that were following her to jump me. Uh-huh. Yeah, you were that light skinned girl at the time. You knew that yeah. there was coming yeah, for you. Or like, she was, that, she was, was like, that light skinned girl at the time. I had never fought before. So, like, I was scared. I was like, oh. and it was a lot of people. It wasn't like it was just her. So, I'm, quick backstory my dad was very disciplinary. Like, I had to do yard work. I got my ass beat all the time. But, like, for him, because I'm a female, he thought everything was about beauty. Because at a certain age, you get to a point where it's like, oh, there's boys. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, you want to wear lip gloss and you want to look cute, whatever. Anyway, so my dad started to try to strip me from those things so he mm. like made me wear boy clothes to school mm. he chopped mm. all my hair off oh like, hey. I, I didn't have a buzz cut but like it was like Ski i couldn't mask. even put it in a ponytail mm. so that's when i started getting bullied at school because people were like ah chicken head you know what i mean like <laughs> make it, children are mean and then next Gosh. thing you know one girl thought i liked her boyfriend or whatever because of a rumor that got started and she came did to you like her boyfriend that. real shit no i really didn't okay. Okay. I really did you know what's like funny boyfriend. about that hold on hold on look. so let her get her shit off now so what happened they saw you and they just I got a I got Wu-Tang? a scar on my knee to this day oh. from falling in like falling into the parking lot. Wow. But I didn't like well, what I, like I didn't you? get my ass beat. Basically she caught up to me. I was running. I'm telling y'all I was running. I had never fought before. <laughs> so she ran I down. tripped because I was running. <laughs> Typical light skin. <laughs> and girl. it was like you and then in the she movie. like hit Hold me. On. You, oh, you, you, was, hit me. you was running from the jump and trip. Scary movie shit. Yeah. <laughs> Over nothing. I like, like fell into the parking lot. <laughs> it's done. And at the worst, as you was falling, like it's a wrap. Yeah. Be the the Great knee caught that worst place. Yeah. The parking. You ever been jumped? Hell no. Never. No, no, no. Listen, listen. It came a time where I almost was right, 
Because in my neighborhood, like it was, bro, we didn't have gang banging. We had neighborhoods. You feel what I'm saying? So in Myrtle okay. Grove, me and this dude, we had a fight, and I I whooped his ass right. And they were so mad that I whooped that boy ass when I came out of school from CSI. This What's was CSI? Like, it was like in house uh, in house uh, suspension. Suspension. Yeah. Oh, we call, it, we call that ISS. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in, in in school suspension or in house? In, in school suspension. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, ISS. so, ISS. so ISS. Hey, what's the C stand for for y'all? I, we, I don't I didn't know. know. We <laughs> ISS in school suspension. Don't matter. It, look, we just knew. What's CSI? Yeah. In class suspension. Yeah, some shit like that. I don't know, but it was just all I know is so I see that was detention. That shit was cold. Crime scene investigations. But uh. People was warning me like, boy, that, that boy ain't finna let that shit slide. I ain't give a fuck. We from the same neighborhood. What's up? When I came, I peeped. It was 20 motherfuckers waiting on me. I said, oh, oh fuck. no. And they know my family and shit like that, but I guess that day they ain't give a fuck. <laughs> so I I, I, don't, I, maneuvered my, I maneuvered my way out of there some way, somehow. So I ran down like a block, got away. It was motherfuckers waiting at the church's chicken. So I had to fight another dude. To I don't have some legendary restaurant. fights in the hood, though. Word. Like, literally, like, my name in the, my, the hood that I come from, I have legendary fights with legendary people. Mm. One of them, God bless his soul, man. That was my good friend. I wish we could have hashed it out before he left this uh, earth. But we had, I had some legendary fights. How you leave fights. the earth? Uh, unfortunately, he had a, a heart attack. Okay. Yeah, yeah I made mean, that clear now. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You recording, <laughs> yeah. talking about you. <laughs> you know I had some of that yet now. He uh, ain't going on. Nah, but, but they, 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 uh, it was they was chasing after me and stuff like that. Never got to me. They made me fight this other dude, and Fred. When I say I swung, but miss, oh. and that motherfucker hit me with the hardest blow. I I seen <laughs> everything white. <laughs> I seen everything white. I but know when exactly I came, what he talking about. But when I came back to the light and I had his shirt, I pulled him to every fucking oh, so punch. She hit and you. You, was like, you feel me? <laughs> and when I came to the light, I pulled his ass into every fucking punch. You, know, me, you know what I'm saying? But I, I went home. I escaped that, and I, I escaped plenty of jump. But I never got jumped. Bad. Anybody? Any? If you haven't, just say no. Anybody? No, no. Never been jumped. Never been jumped. Yeah. So I'm some oh, big dudes. Jumped. They ain't getting no money. I've been jumped yeah. jump bad. I was a lot How skinnier. You, you got jumped bad? Bad, bad. Oh man. Here? Bad, bad. No, nothing here. here. Okay. Oh, nothing since. <laughs> But yeah, real, real what bad. Oh, you got to tell me this. Several times. Several times? Yeah. Hey, what's the worst Yo, one? Gotta, what was the worst chill, ass Fred. whooping you got from being jumped? Damn, bro. I'm, I'm going to have to revisit that one. I feel bad about this shit. You need us you to quit talk about it? What was you doing? You don't want to talk about it? What was you doing? I'm I'm like, I, I need to mean, What's the worst one? You said a couple times. Yeah, yeah, like, a couple times. said the worst one? I was fighting a lot, believe it or not. I was fighting a lot. I believe it. So, <laughs> when you know somebody, believe it or not, I believe when, it. When you know somebody, you fight. Right. Like, oh, he gonna fight. Yeah. A lot of times, you just come, you come ready. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that that it had gotten there with me. So, um, I, I, I was fighting homeboy. You know what I'm saying? We was getting it in. I, I remember I had threw him over me. Boom! I was running to get on top of him to you know to sit on him and start hitting him. I got on top of him. I went for one swing. Somebody hit you. Timberland, for Timberland, ACG, <laughs> uh, Mountain Gear, mm. Air Force One. Was I just was getting, out. I was getting crazy. I mean, I got stitches right here in my forehead. Split my shit up. Damn. Boom, 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 boom. Crazy thing is, I learned a valuable lesson this day. I had like five people with me in my car. And them niggas ain't helping. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> And so, that's why I be trying to tell my, you know, my son. Everybody and, call and, your and, homeboy and as other, not your and homeboy. And other people like who I mentor and people I talk to, like, you don't really know who somebody is until it's violence, money, or female involved. Yeah. You right. do not know who somebody truly is until money, violence, or a female is Did you there. speak to them niggas after? I mean, shit got to, you know... <laughs> you can't disclose that information. Right. I, 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 I left that yeah. part out of mind because when I did get to the church of chicken, the person that was that was there that I seen as the Holy Grail, like, oh, thank God, they helped out. No, they didn't. They they couldn't. See? You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he was just soft as fuck. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And what's crazy is this is why I never be the superhero. That whole fight that I started at the beginning of the story, that was me saving somebody from getting their ass whooped. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? So Crazy. I, 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 I took my motherfucking cape off. I'm flying on my own time. Dad. Superman well, said, I'm going to fly on my own time. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, listen, the only difference I know, I know between a superhero and a villain is who's rooting for you. Yeah. That's the truth. 
So you got some, you got a question somebody sent in, right? I have a couple. Mm. Hey, stay in your goddamn inbox <laughs> with the questions. Yeah. She okay. had, she had, I ain't okay. going to say the message. I that think it's crazy. just because of that, that video. People like to talk about those type of things. Anyways, so one of the questions. <laughs> 80K Coco. <laughs> one of the questions that somebody asked was, what is your favorite Zodiac sign to sleep with? I don't be into that shit. I don't know. <laughs> I, that's the thing, like I don't be into the signs. Like I don't that. really get into zodiac signs when it's time. To, I think all that should be bullshit, though, because when you look at the comparisons of signs, like I am like that. Bitch, we humans. All us like that. We all got a yin and yang to us and stuff yeah. like that. So I don't get into like, oh, them Aquarius got the best pussy or the Capricorns. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, so I don't be knowing what the fuck. Whoever they you like, whoever the best comes you to your with. mind when you think of. Like the best sex you've ever had, then whatever their zodiac sign is, is I guess what your answer would be. <sighs> that shit bullshit. I'm like, I know, <laughs> I, I know, I know, I do, be, I do be feeling like I know somebody I, pop in your head when I, I feel when good. I, said what I, I, feel, just I said. feel good with my sign come up on them, on the memes and shit like that. The best sex, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you know, goddamn, <laughs> it's me all day. You see, <laughs> shit. Um. What's the, what, yeah, you said, okay? Go ahead. Yeah. What what what's the sign of the best you ever had? It's basically the best the I ever had. What's the sign? Was is Pisces? Pisces? Spicy Pisces? Spicy what about you? Pisces. What about you? Libra and Scorpio. Oh, yeah. oh both. Scorpio with a Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah. Listen, Scorpio. Well, that's shit. Well, then I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Tyrese. She's a Capricorn. <laughs> I came here to give manage. Hey. Ooh, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, I need, I need, I need to hear that. <laughs> I don't know my son. What's April? What, 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 what part of April? What part of April? Like April, early April. When's your birthday? It's April eighth. All right, so that means so that you're you Aries. It's, it was an Aries. Then. Okay. An so, Aries and Aries. Your... so both of y'all have best sex with your own sign. Wow. No, no, no. Scorpio. Here's I'm a Taurus. Okay. okay. Oh. The sign of the person. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said what's the sign? Because he the, said when's your birthday and you said April eighth. He, he meant to say when's her birthday. Yeah, that's my oh, I know okay. him. That's yeah, my yeah. That's my Relax. Shit. See, you got eighty k views. You got eighty k views, and you Relax. come in here talking like this and all that. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get the bass out your voice. Okay? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> what's, what's the best sign for you? You ain't gonna slip out. They need it, to hit your DMs. Scorpio. 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 Nah, yeah. I ain't for nothing. That was number two. Scorpio. Yeah. Scorpio. It's really like that. I've probably been yeah. one. I just don't Niggas, know the sign. Like, is, is, is people sign. really asking signs like what your sign? That was what the question is. was. What's your, I, sign? It's not what's your about, sign? It's not even about the sign. It's like not, not for nothing. Like you start seeing consistencies of women in which their birthdays are and which you date, right. and so like. I start, I start. I start. I start. My boy said consistency. That's how you know he got a roster. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Real quick. Let me do this because I did this in North Carolina. Coco, real quick. We can't ask Coco the question, but Coco, go around the room and tell everybody they body count. <laughs> Guess it. Jesus. Oh, Guess it. Do Guess that. it. No, and on. you can't agree or deny. Oh, okay. Just take it. Okay. <laughs> Don't put the That's shades on now. Put the Jesus shades on. Go. Go. We didn't do that. Okay. Come on, we know the time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she will start me first. Like, I'm just going around. You want to start over here? Okay. Mm-hmm. 105. Mm. Less. I said you can't agree. Or don't talk. Don't tell him just what take to do. It. Just take Listen, it. Listen, you want to answer the question, you can answer the question. Look at his hands. <laughs> Four like. 52. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Well, stop, make, stop making I'm faces. Close. We gonna let yeah. the we, yeah. gonna, we, we gonna let the viewers say yeah. it. Yeah, so, I, I, okay. I had to had to think about that. I was okay. like, I, I should have let it go first with me. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Now you better be like this one. <laughs> <In> anticipation. <laughs> Put the pinky up. Two seventeen. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. Almost choked on my drink. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you even drink while I'm about to answer <laughs> this question? <laughs> Shit, this Shit. guy, right? Yeah. God damn it! <laughs> Why are he trying to make his face so straight? <laughs> so straight right like. Now? like he don't want to tell nothing. Okay. Mm. Two eighty-eight. Okay, okay, okay. So y'all comment. Let let us know what y'all think the body count is. So you had another question, right? Yes. 
This one was, I have two big questions I want for you guys especially to talk about because I feel like a lot of men, like to your point, Mm. don't get to share enough about emotions and things like that. And you were talking about that earlier with me this week as well. So one of the questions I had from our followers was, do you believe in unconditional love? Do you feel like it actually exists or it's like kind of like one of those make believes? Do you feel like you could be in a situation with a platonic lover? Mm. Doesn't matter the gender. Mm. that's unconditional there's no stipulations to that person loving you or you reciprocating that type of love i don't think there's no such thing as unconditional love and i'm and i'm speaking on um from experiences my grandparents loved each other for they went to their grave i believe they was married like 60 something years Mm. but uh in relationships somebody has to compromise you don't get a hundred percent what you want Right. It's either the 80 20 rule or 50 50. So it's some form of conditions there uh, that you have to conform to. So that's why I say I don't believe in unconditional love. I do believe that it's uh, pure love out there uh, where, you know, the conditions is not so crazy than the others out there. You know, right. I love you because of your money, I love you because of the assets that you have and bring to the table. Right. But I don't believe, I think unconditional love is that's a fable. In my opinion And I'm going off of what I've seen What I've witnessed And me currently being in my relationship You feel me Me and, me and my wife got together It's it, It's it's not unconditional right. It was more so like One of us have to huh. Basically uh, not. I don't want to say settle Right. It's the 80-20 thing Compromise a bit. You know, to somebody has to come. Somebody had. had somebody had to compromise because she may want work. me like this, and I may want her like this. Right. So you can't say that's unconditional, right? Because you would love me as I am, right? If it was you know what I'm saying? If it was unconditional, right? Fred? I want that to exist. Right. I haven't had it though, so I'm not gonna say it doesn't doesn't exist. Um, but like I said, the last episode to me, true love is like true friendship so mm-hmm. right. that's what i wanted to exist that's your closest thing to unconditional love is like having a best like, friend a as best your friend partner. like yo you could tell them about anything the craziest you've done the and and even if they don't like it they still gonna love you you know what i'm saying they ain't mm-hmm. going nowhere you ain't gotta worry about them going nowhere mm-hmm. right, you know, right. all of that like I, you slip up this happened or this from my past or this currently or right you're just not gonna judge me right you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and 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 you know I love you. I know you love me. Mm. And that should be like it. Whether I start making crazy money or my, the money go low or Facts. I get famous or I never, you know, whatever happens Doesn't change after how you after love me. we loved each other. Right. That part right there, everything else is just on the outside and we deal with it together like. Mm-hmm. But do I I haven't seen it. Yeah, For that sure. kind of like unconditional love, but There's a part 2 to this question too, but I want you guys to answer as well. Ooh, look at her. So I feel mm. like, I feel like it, it it's an eventuality. Mm. Like when you talk about your grandparents, mm. you know, being married for so long, the second and third. I feel like through the time span of them being together, that was unconditional love. I don't mm. think that at the moment is conditional love, because like you, you know, you love X, Y, and Z. But over time, like you're old, you're with them, like y'all exist together. It at this, it's literally like a, at this point. Mm-hmm. Like what am I You know what I'm saying I'm with you you with me Like what are we really You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. Like I, I think it's an eventuality I don't think it's like a thing Where you can be like Yo that's I can see it right now as In your 20s Or in your 30s Like this is unconditional love So right. to understand what you're saying You're saying unconditional love Is something that could Be present But you have to Build to that It's something that happens Like say, later like, on down the line I don't, I don't want to say it build Because like, like Men can cheat In the relationship of the marriage Women can cheat In the conditional marriage but again, they're still together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And again, that's polarizing. Obviously, when you're going mm-hmm. with the 80-20 thing, that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. I feel like in, in totality, when you look back at someone's relationship, mm-hmm. they definitely withstood the unconditional love aspect of it. But I don't think like you can obtain that, like just being like married within like the next day or the next year okay. and look right. at that sort of thing. So I think it kind of like goes from what he's saying yeah. and then kind of like what you were talking I get, about. I get what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. I get what you're saying. I'm, a, I'm a my mic. I don't believe in unconditional love. Like, at, when I was younger, I thought of it, it sounded, like, nice. But then, like, as you're in relationships, and as I've been in relationships, and you see relationships, and you hear from different, like, people, friends, there's conditions. Like you Every said, time, right? Yeah, there's conditions within it. Like, like 
to there's conditions to like sex to get sex. I have to. This mm-hmm. is obviously like, um, but it's conditions to like I have to do this, this, and this. Right. If I don't do that, I'm st- I'm not getting that. I'm not getting That's that facts. love. I'm not getting that sex. I'm not getting Mm -hmm. her presence. I have to Mm -hmm. be a certain way. I have to do certain things. Those are conditions. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Even if it is a but but even if if it's true friendship, if you you couldn't do none of that, you still would show up. Yeah, but no, but even if it's true friendship, like in a sense, like uh, you still get like mad at your best friend for not mm-hmm. doing something or whatnot. They're still like, I still have to like. I don't think people but understand what the but word. But you still show up for them. But my thing is be- that if you don't provide this or you don't provide that, you still gonna show up right. in the in the in the manner that y'all started with showing up. But right. see, he says he says something perfect because a lot of people, uh, you you gotta understand. <laughs> You put yourself up under certain conditions, especially when you want to impress somebody. Yeah. Right. So how can it be unconditional when you might not you, you have not even like, you, trying to shine. Shine. You, you, you can't even be yourself off top screen. Right. You, you started you, trying to shine. Yeah. yeah. You, you pulled up passionate about this top. You pulled up in the rental. You right. pulled up in the <laughs> rental. You had to, to on, go you, had to, you had to go get the suit knowing you can't afford this. You don't pay the rent you know three times for the person. That that actually goes into my secondary part of the question because the secondary part of this same question essentially is do you feel that women are loved more unconditionally than yes men? yo yeah, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%,
uh, take care of us, cook, do simple, like just be there for us, even emotionally, or yeah. be there like during times of where we can feel safe. Like if you find a woman that makes us feel safe, all that just like even goes just out the window. Put, put it with a light cook out. You, let's say you driving in your vehicle and you see a handsome gentleman at the bus stop. Are you stopping? You just gonna say he's handsome. Why well, are you even trying to think about that? You is not <laughs> stopping. Hold on, let me tell you why. I, I will put think. the last of this in. <laughs> I had to think because I wouldn't stop regardless if he was sitting on the bus stop or in the Lambo. I wouldn't stop regardless because that's just not how I get down. Right. I'm not a pursuer, and I've mentioned that a million times. So, well, a lot of okay, women, a lot, a lot of women, women not. Right. That's Who the got the better so that's shot? why I can't that's speak for all women because what I've been learning through talking, not just to you guys, but people who have been like chiming in through comments and DMs and stuff, is apparently, crazy. yeah. They've been on them DMs like, she lying. No, big cap. Exactly. Big cap. Nobody <laughs> believes the things I say because it's so uncommon. Apparently, exactly. I'm not like most city girls. That's like a, a, a thing to do, I guess, this day is be a city girl mm-hmm. and, and use people for money and shit like that or status. I would not stop to answer whoever said that. If you were on a bus stop, a Lambo, or whatever, I wouldn't stop regardless. Okay. All right, let me if ask you If you approached this. me, it wouldn't matter, though. Right, right. Either. Right. You uh, can't really not have a car, though. Okay, so so, so that's that. Okay, so you Wait, you see? said all that. To, that just you just arrived at his answer. Yeah. So if you're approaching me, you can't not have a car. But see? I only say that because I have a car. But what if you, you fall in I mean? love with him? Do the approach. Let me let me paint a scenario. Actually, hold on. Scenario. I can't say that because I don't need people. I don't, with, you stop telling me. But, 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 no, but that was a great, that really was a great scenario. That. You meet right a guy. There. You okay, go okay. out. You right. you meet a guy on, let's say, a dating app. Y'all meet up at the spot so you, he get dropped off by the Uber. You follow, <laughs> da, 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 y'all talking. Right. Y'all on y'all fifth date. You, so you ain't never get to see if he driving or whatever the situation is. You're like, damn, I really like this guy. You start, I don't want to say falling in love or whatever, however you get with that. You really feeling him. I think it's okay. So you find out he don't got no car, right? Does that is so that's a, the deal breaker? No, because it's circumstantial, and the reason I say that is because it's like, why don't you have a car? Are you just like a bum and you just don't do shit, and all the stuff you're doing for me is a facade, or is it because some shit happened? You crashed it, and you working on getting a new one, or he something like, like I that. Don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I just don't think I need a car. I just Uber. He's got a job, everything. He just. But I, just, I just want you. To, I want to know what your answer to, to that. Like, I really they, want to know they, what you they think. They can have I mean, these same it. answers. I, I know people like they that. They can have these same answers. They work right next to where they live. They don't go nowhere besides right there in their city, so they don't but need that a car. They work in the city but, where it's like everything is right there. But so you would date right. that guy. Yeah. Okay, so you would pick him up every time. You would pick him up. But you say you shrugged it. Say like guys, we don't ask that, nor does it matter right you know what i'm saying like no oh. we've never said this girl has to have a car like mm. how you just <laughs> said that in an instant but yes yeah. we don't think about we, that we, like we the natural rescuers <laughs> yeah like, like, like we, we go pick her up car. like we, we, i'll, I'll pick go you pick up. yeah i'll go pick you what up what you got going you. what you got going yeah, yeah like, skateboard yeah like oh, we'll right. pay for you you got the skateboard you're doing your thing yeah we'll pay for your uber we'll do that so we don't think about that nah nigga try to save you so the moral of the story I'm going to get you a car. Is women are loved more unconditionally than men. Have to. That's fact. Got you it. Have to. Now this one is from 100, 100, 500. 500K. This Shout out to 500K. 500. Um, only person that's... You, have you met him in person yet? Yeah, I think so. No, you haven't. I don't no, think no, no. I have no idea. Okay, so y'all haven't met because y'all haven't really like been on trips. You've been on a couple trips, but y'all, mm-hmm. everybody ain't been on trips. Well, I'll be on a few coming up. That's what I want. 500K, big supporter from the jump mm-hmm. out of California. Um, on Instagram, is I think his Instagram is 500K Fit. He he was hacked before, so there's a, a person out there who's acting like it's him, but it's not him. It's, fi- it's 500K Fit. We'll put it, put it yeah, in the Yeah, man, whoever that was. Salute. F- oh, yeah, someone, for someone hacked his you? page. Someone hacked 500K oh, Fit. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not asking you. Did someone hack you? No, no, no. Okay. She, she just started another page dedicated to the podcast. Oh, okay. Got you. Got you. Did you not just now realize that? No, no, no. No, he, I, I'm on what he on. I thought somebody hacked so you. So I remember in our in, in the, the group, in our group, someone someone said, "Yo, Coco's page was hacked." So then I was like, and then I checked your thing, and it was like private. So I said, "Oh, snap! Your thing was oh, that hacked. was oh, okay. you haven't added him as your friend." No, no, no. no. That's not what he's talking about. What had Damn. happened was that's what he's talking about. That's not what he's that's, talking that's about. That's the unconditional. What had part. happened was unconditional. Well, <laughs> Listen, 
So that's why. That's I was not what like, happened. What happened was before I made the pod page, my personal page, I deactivated. And that's when Fred was like thinking I got hacked or whatever the case may have been because nobody could find my page because oh. it just goes blank after that. That's what happened. But it was only for a few days. I'm but, it, but it's okay. private right now. And right? now I yeah. have a pod. If you look at it now, it's private. Have me. Coco be confusing yeah, the fuck out of me. So let's not let's not <laughs> drive around the block. Let's go straight to the anyway, location. So the location is you gotta follow you gotta follow him. He can't see him. your stuff. On my Your personal page? page? Is this you follow my personal page? No, it's it's still not. For <laughs> real? <laughs> well, you deactivated it. was still, yeah. When you That's get 80K, I, you become uh, Hollywood. Hey, when you start getting 80K views. I really did not know. Yeah. She like, oh, uh, like, if I can really see your page, sometimes I just assume no, that I'm already No, the only added. page that I see is the, the podcast one. All right, I got you. The other one, <laughs> I don't see. I got you. After that. Damn. My bad. All right, anyways. Damn. Damn. Come on. Damn. Damn. Come on. All right, anyways, so back to 500 question Let's his go. question is why don't women plan dates and i guess for you guys because i'm the only woman here it would be would you guys want for a woman to plan dates for you guys if you guys were dating 100 yeah. percent. of course yeah. like yeah. because that's something y'all passionately like to do more so than the men Facts. and that that has been proven uh, y'all find the dates, y'all find the spots, y'all know the locations. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, well, let me take that back. I'm speaking from my experience. Right, right, right. You get what I'm saying? Because, yeah. uh, like, the women that I dated in the past, long time ago, long, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> he had to put that out there long in the small ago. print. Long time ago. <laughs> you know, they, 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 <laughs> they came up with the dates, and we just, you know, I went, we had a great, phenomenal time, opposed to when... I come mm-hmm. up with it. They might have an attitude. That right. goes back to the condition thing. Mm-hmm. Cheesecake you know, factory. You know really? <laughs> really? You think I'm worried. That's what you, you want me to get the Caesar salad? Yeah. <laughs> Apple beans. Me on the, for really? me, though, I plan so much. I put so much into that. Like, that's me. I like when it's, like, returned. So, I like if, if, if uh, you know, Shorty would be like, yo, when you get at 4 o'clock, meet me here. Yeah. Wear this what you wearing. Like that, I mean, that ain't common. Mm-hmm. Is that, I mean, am I tripping? That's not common. Like, that's the man usually. Listen, what you doing? Six o'clock, meet me over here. Da, 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 da. Here's the address. Boom. I don't know if women out there being like, hey, six o'clock, here's the address. Meet me. Like, mm. I do, but we'll talk about that in a second. Go ahead. Oh, no, I would love it. Um, like you said, personal experience. Mm. I'm not a planner. I'm a, I'm a wing it. I'm a, I'm a be honest. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a wing it. Like, like, Picking up a seven, don't know where we're going, yeah. but be like, ready Papa, for I'm anything. I'm on the phone with Popeyes right now, yeah, baby. I realize, like, I don't even want to tell, like, they open facade. Late. I'm a wing it. Like, fuck okay. all that. I'm a wing it. So right? you're spontaneous. Yeah, I like, right, I'm a spontaneous. Right now. So I'm nice. spontaneous so, too, though. Yeah. No, so yeah, but like, like from my, my personal experience, women who plan dates or give me hints. So whatever. But yeah, that's what I know. But. It's just like when women plan dates, it should be fun. Like, I'd be like, oh, damn, I didn't even know about this shit. I'm getting out of my element and we going to have fun. Like, all right, cool. Like, now I know shit you like, so I can plan maybe. I think because you're not a planner, though, because you're not a planner, you really would enjoy the unexpected. Yeah, I guess it. See, I like that. about you? Nah. You don't want a girl to plan it? (laughs) <laughs> See, like, meet me here at six o'clock. He go look up the look. Nah, that's whack. Honest, I that's that. whack. Here's saying. another <laughs> but, you, but you know what it is though. Like for me, like I, but I enjoy that. Okay. Like if I know stuff that you like, I like doing that. Okay. I like, I like the okay. I, I like the okay. Plans. Got you. Be the like same if I know way. you okay. like, like Harry Potter, we yeah. going to the Wizarding World. Yeah, we we getting the See, rooms. I, 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 I wouldn't have I'll thought going to that type of you know stuff. Once like, you learn what they like to do, it's because I'm not playing around that. I like, I like giving somebody the. Expression like you see the expression on their face, like they're excited, this, that, right, third, all right, that. Right. I love being like the dude that did that. You feel okay? Me? Uh-huh. Yeah, um, you like pissing so you on that fire hydrant. Like for women to take you on a date, you wouldn't like for that. And I'll tell you why, though. Okay. In particular, no, it's not even that. Honestly, yeah. when you don't receive something at a younger age. When it becomes something in an adult age, you don't know how to respond to it. So and that's how I am right now. You're being conditional. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> listen. And, and so, like, listen. So when you talk to, when you talk about, like, love, when you talk about love languages, uh, gifts is the last funny. thing on my list that I want. Right. Wow. Because I'm not acceptable to, They're like. They're coming I, for you in the I don't comments. Know, I don't know how to respond. You know it right now. I don't know how to respond, like, getting gifts. Comments now, have you had What this nigga though? won't. Yeah. They <laughs> go, but, but. They go kill. At the, at the they same time, though, my top three, quality time, um. 
physical touch and words of affirmation. Okay. You feel me? So Quality. if your girl buys you a gift or like arranges something that's a surprise, like, oh, meet me here or whatever, like I got something planned, like you just, you out. Yeah, like, I'm yo, do it. like your birthday. I'm traumatized from that type of shit, Coco. I'm a, I'm I ain't gonna lie, don't, don't arrange nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what you arranging for? What? Well, I, I, I start thinking. I start thinking. I start What the fuck did I do? I start looking for shit that I. <laughs> what did you know I, I do? That's horrible. That's yeah. what that person did to me. Nigga, they, they traumatized me. Like you know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, wait. wait. This nigga done got jumped up. thinking he was going on a date. Somebody gave you a gift. No, they gave me a gift. They told me. They told me like, nigga, I'm gonna meet you here. I get to that bitch is two of their ass way. Oh, I got a question. Let me ask this. Hold on. I know you got some more. I need this real. Y'all make it quick so we can get back over here. My question: Have y'all ever been set up? Of course. What, no. For, from women, right? Not like on Period. some like jumping. Period. Anyway. Yeah. In any way, have you no. ever been set no. up? No. Uh-uh. Never been set up? No. Never been set up? Yeah, have you ever been, been set up? No. I've been set so. up, God damn it. On my birthday. <laughs> what happened? Oh. Damn. Yeah, what happened? Man. No remorse. Hey, drop this story. Listen, what happened? I was out with one. You feel me? And uh, she had... It's crazy. She said, yeah, man, my own goddamn house, motherfucker. You got to have two different birthdays if you're doing that. <laughs> so what? She, she arranged us to have spend quality time and stuff like that. I did not know that she was bickering, going back and forth with the ex-girlfriend and stuff like that, who I still was dealing That's with so in the it. background and stuff like that, because I still had some feelings left. Mm-hmm. So she was like, yeah, we're going to be He was still house. clapping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically. In the midst of me clapping that, I get a knock at the window. Why are you clapping? Why I'm clapping. Oh. So Bruh. motherfucker say How is that a setup? So the girl who was she getting told clapped her, she told, told her, her to come over. She told her, she told her, she told her, she told her to come over. She said she basically like, I bet you I'll be there with him. I bet you she we said still you. Yeah, because you know I, I, I was lying across the board. I ain't dealing with her. Right. You know, I'm lying That's saying golden. I'm somewhere else. That's when childish. I'm really, you feel me? <laughs> so they set me up. I ended up, my mama was so green. Like, you got to pick and choose. Pick and choose. More of the story, keep it 100. Up, keep it a buck. If you up, really though. play it for real, hold keep up. it a buck. Yeah. Wait, no, I, I was give you that was, I was Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. 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 No, he done. I was rubbed up. You was, was clapping. Yeah. She knocked on the window. You feel what I'm saying? It said, uh, Andre, I know you're inside there uh, uh, with such and such. You feel me? And then I get up, spook the shit. The girl laughing like, yeah, bitch, we in here. <laughs> <laughs> Go outside. Her mom outside with her. What? Oh. Why should she bring her mom for? Because I was lying. I was <laughs> lying <laughs> like I was lying like we was mother. getting back together. We still in love. I was not dealing oh, with the girl no sure. more. Yeah, I was young. I was young. Oh, you wasn't shit for well, You know females <laughs> bring the mom in there to, let them, to verify to their mom. See? They decision. Yeah. <laughs> See, he not shit. Yeah, That's he, what I'm trying to tell you the whole time. You love no, him. No, and you no, love him. Yeah, but you the, love him, right? Because the, 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 the mom, <laughs> the mom loved me. She wanted me See? before See? the daughter. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. All right. But Case I just want to know. So the girl you was clapping called that girl. Yeah, they, they before, they, before, they, 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 no, but that's why I'm, that's why I'm, it, I'm prop to that story. Uh-huh. The fact that you were still clapping the girl and she called. Yeah, because the thing is, she like, she know for like, she like usually that girl would have not have you clap. There, it, was, it was it was e- it was egotistical. No, she yeah, know for that's, a fact that's a, that women do yeah, that she, shit. She knew it's for like a fact. if I'm I'm not I don't speaking for myself, but women will do but. that where it's like they're fighting yeah, over know. one person and one person's like, nah, he's mine, no, he's mine. So then it's like, okay, bet. Like, well, if you pull up, I'm gonna be there. Like, it's almost like mm-hmm. verification to that's, them to no, prove to the other girl, it. like, nah, we fucked no, each other understand, real bad. You know? But like, she could have still the, been there while the girl was there. Who was the main like, chick? Nah, she wanted clapping? to prove that they still. No, the one with their mom outside. The thing is, who was the main? It was at the time. It really wasn't no main. It was just. It was just indecisive. I, I had done just broke up with this girl. Here's the thing what, what blew my motherfucking mind. The girl who came with her mom and shit like that, remember I was telling you a, a girl broke my heart and stuff like that? That was her. That was that motherfucker. <laughs> she left me for a dude with a car and You don't know what we talking about. You need to go episode <laughs> six. It so, was not unconditional. So she, it wasn't yeah. unconditional. Yeah. Damn, you know what I'm saying? So I was out there. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I was feeling a little good. Like I got a Pikachu. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but you gotta go. You know what I'm saying? But oh, so was, you kicked the girl you was clapping out and got. Nah, hell no. Nah. I stayed oh. with her. So you ain't finished clapping mistake. though. Hold sure. on, nah, I went right back in there. You right back in there. <laughs> and that shit crazy, man. She had her mom out there and everything. Yeah. Man. <laughs> girl, girl was crying. I had to pick her up and shit and put her in the car. Damn. You know what I'm saying? It was like a sad movie. Like, come on, man. Like, you know. That's, that's wild. All right, what's yeah. go ahead? That's a wild mentality. <laughs> oh, that was it. 
Y'all are y'all oh. are some different. <laughs> oh yeah, he just wanted to know like basically like it was the unconditional love thing and then um about like do you guys like to be courted basically like yeah, taking yeah. out on dates and shit yeah, like facts. that. Like, y'all right. love that shit. Did anybody have a chance to listen to uh JR three X album <laughs> Forgiving Myself? I ain't gonna lie, man. I was so stuck on Blockbuster, man, from Buster Rhymes. So I, I didn't get a chance get to, hear to listen. To you didn't it. get to hear it. You didn't. Same nah, thing with you. Same thing with same, me. Same, same thing same. with you. Did you get a chance to listen to it? So okay, cool. We right tear. We on episode it's, it's, ten. It's, but if there ever comes a chance, we're we'll making a lot of bread, and I'm paying y'all. I need y'all to really. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna do because right <laughs> now episode, it's just me. This episode dead I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, right? I like the album. Fire. He has a lot of uh, cause he he's a he's a real dude. So he's mm. been through real situations. So. Mm. He has several songs on there that um, really are about like relationships, trust, mm-hmm. going through this, going through that. Um, those are my favorite tracks. He got some club joints on there too that's dope. Mm. But for me, I like music that uh, mm-hmm. I could really relate to and, and, and that make me think. Like I got a right. whole thinking playlist. So um, dope album, you guys. Next, next, you guys give it. Yeah, yeah, you, you guys give it. Give it a chance. You. It's called we'll, Forgiving we'll, Myself we'll, by we'll, Jr. We'll, Three we'll, we'll dedi- Forgiving we'll Myself. Dedicate one of the ones to him because I I, 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 I get really in depth when um, I break it down. Like, I want to. Yeah. Uh, There's been too much like, music lately, so yeah. facts. I want to say big shout out Jr. Three X. It's called Forgiving Myself. Dope album. If you get a chance, listen to it. I'm gonna play it on the way to the crib. Buster Rhymes. That album. Buster Rhymes. Buster. Man, listen. Okay, well, Buster Rhymes is called Big Everything. That's the name no, of the album, called, right? No, no Block Buster. Block Buster. Big Everything is the is the single? Is the track that, that's on the album. Yeah, What's that with uh, the baby in them? What's that? Yes. One? Yeah. Okay. Big Everything is the track with the baby in Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I like the name that song. is called Block Buster. So Block Buster as a whole, let's go around the room because could we buy the clue? I bro, like he it was a phenomenal fun album, bro. Facts. It was it was nostalgic. It brought me back to give me some old Buster. Jeez. Like, I love like Buster. the like what he doing, he's already a pillar in hip hop. For sure. So he's showing I can mesh old school and, and new, new school, school together. Yeah. What him, Still baby, did, and T Pain is such a. T Pain, Coil of Rain. I need some more T Pain. Coil of Pain. I need some more T Pain. Like, he, like, every, Young every, Thug. every song, like, the song with Thug was, was okay. Great. Like, he showed he can Crazy. hang with anybody. He's a yep. he's a Swiss Army knife. Bro. Solid. And solid. out of all the albums that drop, I can go back to that one and play it all the way through with no skips. No just skips. just appreciating the, the arrangement, the, right. the, the melody, the really lyrics, his lyrics and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you get a chance to listen to it? I haven't listened to the whole album, but I do like Big Everything. Like Big that shit go. Okay. That Duh. Listen. <laughs> um, I thought wow. it was good. I thought it was a solid. <laughs> solid album. Solid album. Like, I like... Uh, What's your, t- what's your takeaways? Because you just hurt my heart right here. <laughs> but, like you said, but I mean, like, so the reason why I was so excited about Big Everything, honestly, mm-hmm. was because T-Pain was on it. Right. And I don't care what anybody says. When they gave him his flowers um, this past week, I was I, I had the slow tear in his eye. I feel like he is one of the most underrated artists of all time. Of all time. Right. Like if you on a, if you on an island stranded, I listen. And you no, and you got these two to pick from their whole discography, their everything they got going. Okay. T Pain. Future. T Pain. T Pain. Easy. Uh, listen. He future. He future. I'm going. <laughs> The reason why I'm going with you going T Pain? Yes. What you going with? T-Pain. The T-Pain. reason why I'm, I'm going T-Pain. with T Pain because he a young enough. Uh, I, 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 I was going through depression and going through a lot. That was a song that was going played was so much. It helped me. You get what I'm saying? No, I love T Pain. Stripper. Like I'm, I'm in love I'm, with the stripper. Oh first God. album was I'm great. Sprung was like one of those ones. Man. Fire. I played that shit to my CD broke. I ain't gonna lie. Like that. Is he from? Where are you from? He's from He's Florida. Florida. He's from Tallahassee. He's one Ta- of the Because he's Tallahassee Payne. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. That's where T-Pain came mm-hmm. from. Did y'all boys get the chance to hear Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign Vultures? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have I heard, heard, heard a little dirt. I, I heard so. some of it. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't going to lie to you. I've been so caught up with the albums that's been going on, man. I'm trying to give everybody a, a, a equal listen to. Not, so, so... So you heard a piece of it from that piece? I heard piece. a piece of it. I'm, 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 very, it biased, I'm very biased with Kanye. Hmm. He can't <laughs> lose to me. Okay. I'm Show me where he lost. I'll wait. What about Show that shit? What, he lost. Lost. what about that shit where he was like poopity scoop? <laughs> Show me what he <laughs> lost. Doopity poop. Kanye, you heard that? Kanye. Yeah. You, wait, wait. You, Kanye, you, do you know the? Do you know the? Do you know the? Do you mean that one track? Do you know the story of that song? Nah. Do you know the story of that song? I want to hear the story. Do you know the story? No. Elaborate. Okay, so him and <laughs> <laughs> him and Drake, uh, and if I'm wrong, y'all correct me. Y'all correct. 
him and Drake spent a lot of time to come up with a song. Drake went over, went to wherever he was at. Mm. You know, they probably was on some in some in a desert somewhere, but they worked on this song called I think it was called Lift Yourself or something like that. Mm. Drake put his stuff on there. Kanye put his stuff on there. I and remember then, that. And then Drake left. And then whatever happened between Drake and Kanye, Kanye dropped the track. Right. Right. And the track. If you if you y'all listen to the track when y'all leave here. The track starts out, it sounds real crazy. It's like, oh. And then Kanye literally gets on his song and just says, Poopity Scoop. Oh, yeah, no, I know. Doopity Doop. Yeah. Poopity Swoop. Boop, Doop, Scoop. Doopy Doop. Like, <laughs> All right. like really just sitting on Drake. Like, I don't give a fuck about this song. And with what you wrote on here, I'm, I took you off and I put this one out. And, 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 and it was. And, and he just was said, "Fuck it, like, like he, I don't he, fuck with you." I'd rather West put this out and release that the song without Drake on it and with his verse just saying that. And that right there, he's is a, a fucking hell. genius. That's, 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 but was it a good song? Is. Like, did everybody no. like play it? It doesn't. No. Ha- it doesn't have. It doesn't, have to, it doesn't have to be though. You gotta hear. That, the, but that's the you point. You gotta though. hear the that's song. That's the genius <laughs> of him. Anything he does, facts. One. Kanye likes to like genius. he likes to uh, 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 elaborate on every matter hey, with Kanye's with, a Gemini. With Chill out, you know what I'm saying? Remember <laughs> when him and Ti had a difference of opinion? Genius. And I'm he made Ti come to the studio, and they made like this one track. They just made like one track. They sat down. Him, him and Ti, just, just them, just them. They What's sat the down, just like this, and they was in a studio. Instead of conversing, they was rapping towards each other. I need to hear it. I don't that shit that. is I'm a crazy, Kanye bro. fan like, And I'm a T.I. I've been bro. following Kanye that. forever man. What about Sexy Red New song Terrible. I'm not listening to Sexy Red Terrible. I've banned her from anything That so goes like, through my radio Sexy Red is the music Why you don't like of, Sexy Red? Cause she ain't trying to so ski like, Why do you don't like Sexy As a female Why you don't like Sexy Red? I just don't feel like I like what she represents Like how she carries herself I don't like her music I'm, She a hood rap I'm not that None type of her songs of, You're not feeling? No She a hood rap what did, in, in your opinion What Even does she, though, like, what does she represent popular. to you? What does Sexy Red represent to you? Ratchetness, like the way she conducts herself. Like you can have a concert, you don't have shoes on, your clothes are looking crazy, you're out there pregnant as hell. Like, you know, it's, and it's, it's not sad. about her being pregnant, so don't get me wrong. Like you can still work and do what you got to nah, do. No, that shit, just, that shit It's terrible. just how she conducts herself. Let's keep, let's like, keep, I don't like nah, it. Nah, like wait, I just nah. feel like she it's represents. Rihanna did it. It's hold conditional. Hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She won't twerk it though. Hold on, hold on. I said it's not about her being pregnant. Okay. I was like, I it matters that she twerk. Listen, bro. listen, listen. With no you shoes. gotta understand. Rihanna's telling you to shine bright like a diamond. Right. Mm. She's telling you my pussy pink and booty hole brown. No, I'm not. And it's my stank. baby daddy. I'm like, not, what? I'm not, I'm not saying. Oh, you ain't heard that one yet? No, I'm saying like she. Oh. That's no. she publicizes stank pussy and shit. Like it's just stank. weird. Like, that, I don't it's, understand. It's, 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 the, it's the condition of the mind, like you glorifying hood rats. It goes they deep. They look at us like this already. It goes Agreed. deep, bro. They go. Agreed. They. They. You showing you. Sexy Red really showed that I sold my soul. I don't give a fuck. That's it. I mean, you listen. Pay me, I, you can pay me all this hey. money, and I'm going to glorify this, right? Why is it niggas can put on Sexy Red? How? This is why they clone Tyrone is one of those movies that we all watch. That's, they talking about damn near her music. Hey, I like, I, I love that movie. Now, listen. So, my man, my, he, I got love that he got something to say. It's he, like, he, I, rock, I, he rock with Sexy Red. I don't rock with Sexy Red. <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't rock. You with like sexy you like red. some of the music. No, I like so I, I don't mind some like some of the shit is catchy. I I, I hate her music. What's the mo- What's the one? Not, the like, ski e shit. Shake your uh, dreads. <laughs> ski e is pretty catchy, but that's a to me that's a Miami thing. So that's oh she not, from Miami? No, no it's oh, not. Louis. But oh. it's niggas like even before her it reminds Let's me of when it. niggas ski like that's why mm-hmm. whatever. So that's the reason why it's catchy mm-hmm. or whatnot. But. I just like I understand what y'all saying. She's not hip hop, a hundred percent. I'm not saying I'm not gonna listen to her lyrically, but I think women deserve like at least the woman population that we have a hood shit within our shit. Like, know what I'm saying? Like you could put on blast shit that don't make any sense to the nigga music, but we listen to it. Mm-hmm. For mm-hmm. women, mm-hmm. yeah, that, exactly. So Uh-oh. for women, they deserve that as well. That gets some hype, that gets them into the mood of ratchetness. But that's why I, I like think a she's lot of ratchet music of, I, I well, love well, well, we, we got We got too much, and I love a lot of so, but I think like, she's so ratchet, but she's still but be lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of that. 
Women don't like have that. You said they have a lot, but they don't. You know what women the listen to? The city girls are the epitome. That's of it. That's mm-hmm. it. They are the queens. Yeah, we have young Matter of fact, they, no, they, they, are, they are the understudies of agreed, Trina. Agreed. Agreed. But mm. we have young... Nigga, you can name 50 rappers that we can get hyped to compared to the women that... They, do you know, like, I've listened to women. They get hyped to Beyonce. Nigga, how the fuck can you get hyped to Beyonce? Because we go... I'm going to tell you right now. Beyonce, Beyonce, but like, Beyonce first album... But you know what I, I'm I really they don't have, album. but they don't like. Uh, that's all the I just appreciate. One. Like nah, I, I understand it gets I, I into feel, the mood I feel, of this. I, I feel party. I feel different to that that's because why. that's all they they talk about now. That's why our hip hop forefathers are speaking out against it. All right, we got that shit. Right. We 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 accepted it with the city girls. Y'all sound like fucking offsprings of them. And before that, we had Trina, we had Diamond, we had Shauna, we had people that y'all had, had the luxury to listen to, but y'all didn't. Y'all wanted Eve, y'all wanted Missy Elliott, and the people that can show you but that's the older generation. Expression. But that's the older but generation. Even with this generation, when sexy red music is microwave music, I guarantee she won't be here the next year. I hope not. Oh, I don't know about that one. You're going to be at the family reunion. Let me tell you why she won't be here. One, they gear, <laughs> oh, they're gearing and conditioning. Maybe, though. They're maybe, gearing and conditioning maybe. Megan to come back. Right, mm. Lotto, Megan. The they get gear and condition to Megan. We'll to come see back. if she, the if person. Megan. Lotto is Lotto is still here. I love Lotto. Cardi B is still undefeated. Goddamn, I love like Cardi it B. ain't no, it ain't like you feel me. You see what she did with Bongo. So, so y'all, so y'all tell. So, so basically, at the end of the day, everybody, you, the new single, you didn't like it. I hate that shit. Okay, so the new single. You talking about Free My Baby Daddy? Yeah. yeah. I hate that. Trash. It's ratchet. Now, let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. She made mean music, music, bro. I need y'all to be honest. I need y'all to be honest. Excuse me? (laughs) Honest. (laughs) I'm going to ask you, and then I'm going to ask the men. Okay. Men. No, let me ask you first. (laughs) Are you okay with the person you're dating having a guy's trip? I'm talking about like they go (laughs) out of state. Wherever it is they go, they go there for the weekend, yeah. and they just and they're just guys. Yeah, it's easy for me. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. Why would I have a problem with them? Talk to them. Nine times out of ten, if we're dating in a serious Ooh. relationship, I know all your friends anyway. And don't get me wrong, there's what always you- that bad seed. There's always that nigga that's fucking everybody and paying for pussy wherever y'all go, whatever. My thing is, if mm-hmm. I trust my partner. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I don't have boundaries on you. I'm not holding you down like you got to stay here all the time because at the end of the day, if you want to go do some shit, you're going to do it regardless if you go to another fucking country or not. So uh-huh. you'll do, I, you'll I do I it in the same city. Have fun. Yeah, I want you to go have fun. Now, that's weird to me to try to keep somebody on lock so hard that they can't go have fun with their friends. Like, that's weird. Go what if you don't trust them? Mm, if I don't trust him. He want to go on a guy's trip. It would trip. probably be more of a problem. It'd for be an sure. argument, so he can't go on no guy's trip. I don't know if I would tell him not to go, but, but it would be. I, I mean, yeah, maybe it'd be an argument or something. I don't know. I haven't. Because there, fe- there are females out here who don't want their man to go. Like he, he said that. last time, he said it in the last. There are females who don't want you to go to the club. Mm-hmm. One night, four hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like, that, that, that's, so that's, let alone that, a guy's for, trip. That's for their own insecurities. But that's what though. I'm saying. Like, that's not for it the guy. depends on the person. Because there's guys I've dated I didn't trust at the club. So I would naturally have a problem because it's like now that whole possessiveness thing. It's like, okay, but what are you really doing over there? Like, you got, you're sitting in a section full of bitches, and I know how you are. That's my issue is I know how you are. It's not about insecurities and other women or whatever. If I don't trust my partner, that's where, for me, the complication comes in, but so if should, we're so in a good relationship, should you, relationship, be, I don't should you be with the person if you don't trust? No, no. Mm. That's okay, something. So let me talk you to can these work three. that out sometimes, but like, if it's something that's not gonna go away, like you can't get through not mm-hmm. trusting that person or build that back up, then no, because it's just gonna be toxic. Now let, let me talk to y'all. Now, um, I'm gonna start with you. Are you okay with your girl going on a girl trip? It's kind of going on what she's saying. Because, I mean, like, if you got the... Because, again, like, you know you know the friends. What if you don't know the friends? Then what? Then it's... <laughs> it's done. Who said done? How, how, how do they not know me? <laughs> That's... So, like... What if you don't know the friends? You just they, started they, dating this girl. You met her. If, you if, want me to paint If the I don't pictures? know the friends, uh-huh. then they don't know me, right? Right. Then we're... What, what relationship do we have right now? So you, in order to have a relationship, you have to know their friends? I, if you're in a relationship, I'm pretty sure you're gonna know. There are girls out here who don't get along with girls, though. They're like, I, and, what's like, and, and they like, they that? really don't have a lot of girlfriends. I don't care who okay. you are. Or what, you know what I'm saying? What, what walk of life? Well, what does that What does that mean? That's so a, you're not gonna. They don't have nobody you're gonna know like that. But let's say 
the uh, she was in, at let's say at work. They're all she going on this girl's you. trip, and they're like, "Hey, we're going to come. wherever. You should come with us." And she don't know them like that. But she's like, "You know what? That I'll go." How are you? How are you? Are you okay with that? You don't know these people. She yeah. don't. She barely know them. <laughs> are you okay with that? No. Mm, now why not? Because she don't know. Because she don't know. So, so yeah, it's more. So, so you so you don't trust the, her. No, no, I don't you trust, don't trust them. people. Yeah, I don't trust <laughs> them. You don't even I can't. Know them. I see. Thing is, like, I can't here? judge her based on that the people one. that she's going with because she don't know them. This is a first time experience for them. Right, that's different. This is what you're trying to. But what if she's like, I, I trust. You know, I know the vibe. I trust them. They seem like good people. You're like what? But again, bitch, no. But no, because my thing is, is that like, like you can't like there's there's not a situation where you're not gonna create a moment where I don't know somebody that. The person that I'm with mm-hmm. has been engaged with, whether it be a, oh. a, a, a what like, do you mean, like a Christmas party, or if they take like a weekend to go do like a spa day or this and the third. You're but good. if none of that never happens, you never meet their friends. You never meet her friends or her associates. Are you saying that? What I'm telling you is that there's there's high, there's a there's high no doubt. For that. There there's no way that that transpires. You being in a relationship with someone on that level, Agreed. and you don't know that. Yeah, what relationship have you been in that you don't well. know Agreed. none of her friends? I get it. What about I you? I what about you? No, I agree with that. So, so same thing. Scenario, if you know the friends. She can go on a girl yeah, trip. If uh, you don't know the friends, she can't go. Yeah, like there's no, if she, I know the friends, then 100%. Mm-hmm. Go have fun, enjoy. You don't need to be around me. They're your girlfriends. But you if you don't before. know the friends, she if ain't. I don't, first of all, it's, I'm not, it's not because I don't trust her. I don't know the friends. Like Coco said, they can get robbed, like especially the things that's been happening in social mm-hmm. media. She can they get can get up. robbed if you know them or not. No, right. uh, Why would your friends but, rob but, you? But now you're coming back mm-hmm. to remember, friends that Remember the girl that, got, the girl that they, they took yeah, out of town so, and killed but Yeah, so exactly. So, but What? Yeah, the girl that... The they can get robbed the, if you the know Mexico the friends trip. or not. Yeah, we I, agree I, with I, that. I, I agree with that. We're talking about females. We ain't talking about, is he tough? He going... No, I know that. Female. You can love this girl strong-armed. It doesn't matter. Yeah, right. I know. I'm saying... You're cute. Give me your purse. Don't care. Give me your purse. You're cute. Come here. Yeah, Fred. Don't I, I mean, she can still go. Like, mm-hmm. So you asking like if you get hundred percent? I trust my girl. I'm just saying it, can't, it don't matter if they get robbed or that can't be it. Yeah, but no, that that that's a huge thing. Like obviously, like yes, it, it's a huge factor. Like obviously, you have more trust in people that she knows than people you don't know. I don't like the so, story you painted. Yeah, like, you, you made you complicated you, the question. Yeah, At so, the end of the day, nobody's going somewhere with a bunch of fucking strangers. Yeah, I'm like, not going nowhere with a bunch of strangers. Yeah, like, like, well, I'm going to uh, go uh, on a girl's I, trip I, with I, my I friends. I can't tell you a situation leave. like that. You it want was, the viewers to type in or not? I don't care. Well, <laughs> um, <laughs> Do y'all that's worse. the problem. My, my, mine went on a um, trip with strangers off the... Network marketing thing, okay. you know, they went to another a whole another state on some network marketing shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, the reason why I wouldn't eject and let them go because when I want to go, I don't want the same ejection. I, I don't eject. Let me go as well. You know what I'm saying? Trust Facts. me enough to go because I'm trusting you enough to go. Facts. Mm-hmm. Because one, they can go with people they do know and do meet strangers, and you still can't control that situation. You can't control. So it. that's why I won't eject. Like, hey, I'm going here. Uh, for period, and now if things seem sketchy, I will raise my eyebrow and raise questions. Right. What time are you going? When are you coming? When are Agree. You, when Ask are you questions. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> for me, but, listen. This for me, and, 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 and I'm, 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 I'm in the. You want to be? I'm in the same you. state, different mm. city, same state. Same state, different for, city. For me, it's like I don't care if you if you want to go do this with your friends. I don't care who it is. Mm-hmm. It's just like I'm looking at you, like. It's about you. Right. I don't care who you go with. What's I can't, going on I, around you? It's so, you. If, 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 and if you decide to slip up and fuck up what, what, what we got, that's on you. That's yeah, on so you this. because I love myself enough to know you lose it. If, nice. you want, if you if you want to if you want to risk agree. what risk, that's another risk reason why I do not object. I don't care who you go with. You can say, "Yo, it's me, Keisha." Uh, I just got friends with with Where you this been, this Karen? dog. <laughs> Whoever. Where does she live? Uh, Andre. His name. Uh, but I'm gonna look at you. I'm gonna look at you in your but face. It's... I'm gonna look at you in your face and say, "Is this something you you truly want to do?" And if you like, yeah, I'm gonna let you do it because if you shoot yourself in the foot, I'm not gonna stop you. You you like giving me the easy out because I know I deserve. I know what I deserve. I know what I deserve. If you want if you want to show me who you are mm. that way. 
then I'm gonna let you. Then go ahead. I'm gonna open the door for you. Right. I'm gonna I'm 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 hang the noose for you. <laughs> the noose is here. Do you want to try it? But I see it. I but see it both ways. Coco, uh, letting that I'm not going to try and control the situation. Me, it do like matter. That. It I'm not, to me, it do for matter everybody. who she go with. Coco let it perfect for for everybody. Like how we do not know the friends. You know, I know the scenario that you paint, right. but that's just the type of person I am. No, I, feel that, I feel am going to let you go. Right. You what? I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go because I know the type. Whether of person you know the friends I or not, rather I know the friends or not. Yeah, I'm and because like when I did, because I've been in those scenarios. And I when I too. gave someone form of like, what the fuck you mean you finna go? Do, ooh, ooh, ooh. See, you're trying you to keep me trapped here. See, so yeah. I don't, you won't let me be. I me. don't understand. I don't understand that. Like, so that how do you go with like a party of? So like, obviously it's a spontaneous. I gotta know so much things to this like scenario, right? So if I'm with us, my girlfriend, right, mm-hmm. and I tell her like, all right, I'm going on a trip with people I don't know, or she going on a trip with people she don't know. She just told me this like a week beforehand. Mm-hmm. No, like she had to tell me this like way beforehand because that's how you like usually plan but a trip. Tell you a week that beforehand. Means, what, 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 that's what a red flag. flag. Yeah, so of that's course, what I'm saying. So that flag. means like. If she if told it's me a red a week, flag. so if she told me like beforehand, right, with uh-huh. these people I don't know, uh-huh. then now it goes into I right, well, now I gotta meet those people because I have to feel comfortable enough. I feel like that's for controlling. See, see, that's not, that's I feel like that's, 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 that's controlling. That's 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 I feel like that's controlling. Listen, I'm used that's to this a because that's it, a it, 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 Wait it, a hold on, let's stay here. I feel like I feel like that's controlling because you want. Why do you need a? You don't trust her judgment. She I said, would hope wait, that wait. she would want to meet see, the people that she's I'm telling you. I, 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 I wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I got you. He think, <laughs> I got you. He think he got some. Wait, hold on, y'all, hold on. Y'all listen, y'all he, really he got some shit. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Let me say this because now you're telling her you don't trust her judgment. No. Here go, here go. Perfect example. I ain't trying to put you on the Coco here with all dudes. Do any of y'all? No, what's going? Yeah, we don't know what's going on or where or who or what. So, say she was dating somebody, right? That's our sister. She knows all of, but uh, we know this our girl. Like, what? That's our dog. We'll knock a nigga out for, for Coco. <laughs> Agree. Eighty K Coco. What? Eighty K Coco. <laughs> but say she's dating, start dating or dating somebody or whatever the situation is. They don't, and we want to go as a podcast. Next week, now too. they tripping. Now, you, too. I, I need to meet like, everyone wait, on the wait, wait, podcast. Wait, 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 wait. And oh, now, man. and now the dude like, I need to meet everybody. Oh, go <laughs> and once again, <laughs> the Fred. interview I is like next that. Saturday. Fred. Y'all going out Saturday, Fred. Friday. I need to know so all each these person are we you're going around. with the green shirt, so with, on, the green shirt with the, with the, with the grinch so on his. Are we staying in the city? I need to talk to that nigga. Fred, are we staying in the city or are we going on a trip? We're going on a trip. A trip. A trip. A trip. Okay, so a trip. yes, my answer is not going to change. I, I would hope. A perfect scenario. I for would this hope too. that you get the interview. I would I hope perfect, before you start. Coco's I got a perfect scenario for this. Would want to at least. I got the see, roles reverse. I would love to see who at least the niggas that she's going with, because mm. that means we are now responsible. For her. Now let me give you one more. I'm gonna give y'all one more before you go. No, 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 because no, you got some shit. Look at him. Stay on that, stay on that scenario. Okay. Because let me give you, let me give you one I, more. Because I, I can give you the role reverse, right? Go let ahead. me give you one more. Wait before you go. One more. Go ahead. You're talking to somebody who's lived like eight lives, right? Okay. I'm gonna give you one life that I've lived. Okay. The military life. We deploy sometimes twelve months at a time. Okay. You not gonna know who Everybody I am you with associate for. Yourself hey, with. listen, two th- in two thousand uh, twenty four, I'm out. You want to meet everybody I'm going with? Mm. And say it again. Next year, him? I'm deploying for a year. I got, I got something. Do you need though. to know everybody I'm leaving with? But for the military, hold on, hold yeah. on, hold on. You're comparing a military. We don't. No, just, no, no, no. Do you think we just deploy and fight? No, we, we pull in the ports. We wild. We have fun. But but y'all Fred, are doing a all, whole entire. But Go we ahead. also me and him both. You got to think. The, me and him both are in the, in, the, in the entertainment business. Go ahead. You got to trust your partner. So Fred. like for instance, like. <laughs> It's times where I have a battle event that I have to go host, be a part of, be in another city, another state at times. Okay. So I'm telling my, telling my woman, hey, I'm going to be gone uh, for two days. She can't say, I want to meet every battle rapper. Right, right. <laughs> you don't know every battle rapper. But I understand. That's not, um, that's you Yo, going Geechee, to an event. Geechee just said in his battle, if her body people. fake. Geechee Y'all just, are going and meeting Geechee a just said in his battle. Geechee just said in his battle, if her body fake, it don't count for cheating. Now, whoever, if I'm dealing with somebody, what? and this is the 